Minutes and Countdown. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. About ready to kick off between the Packers and the Eagles. I'd like to welcome those of you who took Carolina. Beat Atlanta 9-6 in the Battle of Field Goals. Today's weather here in Philadelphia, 78 degrees. The wind southwest 15 miles an hour. Partly sunny or partly cloudy. Whatever you prefer. The Eagles have won the toss and Ryan Longwell is set to kick off. Ty Detmer will start at quarterback for Philadelphia. Derek Witherspoon back deep for the Eagles. As he has been dangerous in the past. Longwell has a good leg. Five yards deep into the end zone. They fake a reverse. The Packers are not fooled and down and a good job by the special teams at the 12-yard line. Let's look at the offense led by Ty Detmer. Had a shaky week last week against the Giants, but Ray Rhodes has given him the start this week. In front of him, Mayberry, Panos, Everett, Beckles, and Brooks. Those who touch the ball, Waters and Turner in the backfield, Irving Fryer, Michael Timpson wide, and Jason Dunn is the tight end. Detmer brings him out, the ex-Packer. They open with two tight ends. Ricky Waters, left side for a couple. Open with Garner in the backfield with him. Here is the Packer defense. Among the best, Wilkins, Brown, Dotson, and Reggie White, the ex-Eagle, and the leader of the pack. Brian Williams, Bernardo Harris in the middle, and Wayne Simmons, the other linebacker. Evans and Williams, the corners, Butler and Robinson, the safety. Second and seven. Just inside the 15-yard line. The Eagles took the opening kickoff. Detmer. Outside Garner. Short of a first. Stopped by Doug Evans. One thing we know, and the uh, Eagles talked about it yesterday, is they're going to give a lot of formation. Every, every down, they're going to have a different group of players in there. Then once they get the formation, they're going to have what they call a shift. In other words, they're going to show the Packers something, and then they're going to shift. And then after they shift, they're going to have a motion. So they've only run two plays, but we've seen that in both times. See, there's a shift. Right there, they're shifted. Three wide receivers. Detmer, the heat is on. He had to dump it. And it's incomplete. Pressure from Brian Williams. Uh, what they did, you know, any anytime Frick Shermer has that, he's going to put pressure on it. He's just bringing two linebackers right up the middle, and the guy that they didn't get blocked was Brian Williams. But that's, a, that's a Frick Shermer defense. You know, the offense scripts their first 15 plays, and Frick Shermer scripts his first 15 defenses. Hutton to punt for the Eagles, and Schrader, Bill Schrader. Some doubt about whether or not he'd play, but he'll return the kick. Looking into the sun. Schrader. He pretty much made the, the Packers and their fans forget about Desmond Howard last week. Brett Favre, two-time most valuable player. Two consecutive years. Michaels, Taylor, Frank Winters, Adam Timmerman, and Earl Dotson in front of Brett Favre. Levins and Henderson. Antonio Freeman, Brooks, and Jeff Thomason will start at tight end. Thomason is number 83. He was their third tight end. And if you're going to run off tackle or, or sweep, you need a tight end in there. And I think uh, that's, that's going to be part of it, where Thomason will play there. And then when they're not going to be in that mode, they want to get three wide receivers in, put Derek Mays for Antonio Freeman, and then let Antonio Freeman take the place of that tight end. They open with Thomason, line up as a tight end on the right. Dorsey Levins and Brett Farr carries the fake out. You see that? Yeah. Philadelphia defense light but quick. Mamula and Jefferson, the defensive end. Hall and Thomas in the middle. The linebackers Willis in the middle and Farmer and Thomas outside. Bobby Taylor, Brian Dawkins, the leader of the secondary, Zordich and Troy Benson. Second and six. Go 
is in motion. Far back to throw. Good time right through the hands of Antonio Freeman. Boy, does he throw that ball hard, does doesn't he? Ever. We were talking to Robert Brooks about it, and he said, that's that's a tough thing. He said, it's not it's not so much that, that the ball is so hard, but it's just getting around. It gets there. It gets upon you so quickly, you're not ready for it. That's exactly and what Antonio happened. Antonio Freeman was ready for that one, but it just went right through his hand. I and mean, this is what you call a fastball. That's normal speed right there. <laughs> yeah. That's putting a mustard on it. You better be ready. And more, I think. Three, three wide receivers. Up. Excuse me. Three wide receivers. Here comes the Eagle Blitz. Favre lofts it out for Dorsey Levin. Those of you who just watched San Francisco win their first 15-12 over St. Louis, welcome to Veterans Stadium. Nothing, nothing between the Packers and the Eagles. See what the Eagles do is they line up in that three-man line which gives them like four linebacker positions, and then they can blitz from there. See so you put the pressure on Richard Dent. Yep, yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to be a, a third down specialist. The Eagles just signed him this week. Troy Benson back deep for the Eagles. Greg Hendrick. The ticket for Dan Bay. That's a sail over his head, and it pops into the end zone. And the Eagles will get their second possession. Both defensive units have done their job. Well, and the Eagles are going to have a little, uh, uh, a better field position this time. Because remember, on the opening kickoff, they, they they took the ball too deep in the end zone. They right. shouldn't have brought it out. Then they faked the reverse, and they got bad field position. They were on the 12. Right, so they started on the 12. At least now, in this exchange, the second time they get the ball, they're getting it on the 20-yard line. Walt Coleman is the referee. First and ten, Eagles tied Detmer, the quarterback. Waters is deep. Ricky Waters for a couple. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, these, these teams knowing each other. They, of course, Mike Holmgren and Ray Rhodes both coached together, both coached for the 49ers. Ray Rhodes was Mike Holmgren's defensive coordinator at Green Bay, but the Packers also know Ty Detmer because he was he was drafted by the, the Packers and, and, and played with the Packers under Brett Favre. So they practiced against him a lot. So they, they know they know Ty Detmer very well. And he knows their defense. Although it's changed quite a bit since he was there. I'd take their defense. Yeah. Detmer. Waters gets the carry and gets perhaps a yard. One thing you can't do, Pat, is run at Gilbert Brown. I'll guarantee you, if this is what you have in mind, that you're going to try and run at this guy, it's not going to work. He's just too big. He's just too strong. They have a double team. He just splits it. He just throws the guard right into the backfield. That was Ian Beckles there trying to block him, but you're just not going to get it. I mean, Steve Everett, the center, started to help. Beckles and just doesn't happen. Big Gold Brown just split that thing and boom, there's nowhere to go. That's not a good idea. Trying to block him is well said. Here comes the blitz again. Waters makes the reception, is taken out of bounds immediately by Robinson. You see, and that's exactly what happens in this in this offense. If you don't create those third and short, that's why John Gruden was saying the other day that. First and 10 is so important. They pick up something on first down because if they're third and long, this offense and Ty Detmer is not a good quarterback to play third and long. And we just saw what happened. He throws a two yard pass. It's fourth down and after punt. Tommy Hutton back to do the honors. First, his first punt today went 42 yards. Schrader is deep for Green Bay. This one, if it's handled correctly, could be retired. Trader. to the 35 perhaps 36 knocked out of bounds by Watson they know who Schrader is now I mean they saw him him on Monday night you know yep. there wasn't you know a, a Bill Schrader had played for the Rhine fire in the World League and they weren't sure who he was he got a couple of big returns and not only gave Schrader a lot of confidence and the Packers a lot of confidence in Schrader but it also gave those opponents a marked guy and I don't think Bill Schrader was a marked man with the Bears on Monday night. No. But Bill Schrader, as a punt returner, is a marked man for these Eagles special teams. There's some question about his availability, too. He got a deep thigh bruise by Charlie Horse. 
in practice on Thursday. Three wide receivers this time for Green Bay. Five. <coughs> Eleven. Willis met him head on. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. When you have three wide receivers, the only running game you have is an inside running game. And then a middle linebacker like James Willis can do something about it because you don't have to worry about off tackle. All you have to do is look. They know that they're going to run in here if they're going to one run because he's not a blocker. You get an extra guy right here, so they're going to have an extra guy against the run. Now watch James Willis. He sees it now, and boom! He just steps right up in the hole and straightens everything up. That's the way to fill a hole. And then that's the way to get underneath shoulder pads and explode. Second and long. Levens again. Slung down at the 40. James Willis again. Yeah, Mike Mamula played that pretty well, the right defensive end, and then he let the, the running back run right by him. I don't I think he was playing the playing the block. He was playing John Michaels, got off of John Michaels, and then didn't even see Levens run right by him. But Mike Mamula, I think, considers himself a pass rusher anyway, and he's pretty good at it. Tampa Bay's 2-0, and those of you watch that victory by the Buccaneers, welcome to Veterans Stadium. Brett Favre back to throw, and the pass is incomplete. There's no score here. Bill Schrader was the intended receiver. Hey, they've had pretty good defense here. I mean, you see right here, here's Schrader here. They're going to run a slant. Now, they're just playing a slant. You see, they were just waiting in there for the slant. Schrader ran right into the defense, and worse than that, Brett Favre threw it right into the defense. Greg Hendrick, his first punt went 45 yards. Mark Say back to return. This is a dandy. Bounces into the end zone and out. And the Eagles, once again, will take over at their own 20. No score at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Who the past or behind? Wouldn't you love to be free? To go wherever your whims take you. Whenever you want, for any reason at all. Drifting along with a tumbling tumbleweed. With Southwest, you can. You are now free to move about the country. For 27 years, I've been peanuts, see? To my pal Tony says, this cause Light, they force blew it, right? It's icy cold. So I says, I thought everyone drinks it because of all the peanuts I've tossed. See, I could hit a guy eight rows up just by hearing the sound of his voice. It was my thing. But with cause Light, I don't need a thing. that may be a towel. Cause light! Cause light! Rocks. Some people skip them, stack them, or just plain ignore them. But then there's these Texaco people. They love the darn things. Yeah. Obsess over them. Go to the ends of the earth to find them. They study them. They scan them. Even taste them. Why? You find the right rocks you find the energy the world needs to keep on running. Texaco, a world of energy. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, with fares so low you have the freedom to fly. By Visa, the official card of the NFL. It's everywhere you want to be, www.visa.com. By Pizza Hut, wouldn't it be great to enjoy today's game with a great pizza from Pizza Hut? And by Nike. Pat Summerall, John Madden. At Veteran Stadium, no score between the defending world champion Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here is Detmer back to throw. Gets to Irving Fryer, who carries the Green Bay defender for first down yardage. Oh, that, I think that's probably the first play over five yards in this game by either team. I think it is. Are well, you going to see Irving Fryer? We talked about shifts, and we talked about motion. Fryer came in motion all the way across the backfield, 
then he just stopped and, and and that's an option pattern if the guy plays you inside you go outside if he plays outside you go inside Irving Fryer hooked up stopped and went to the outside nobody behind Ty Detmer this time I think it's going to be a pass batted down by the Packers hey once you you have no one in the backfield that, that either Ty Detmer is going to run a quarterback draw or it's going to be. Let's just watch the pass rush here on the clicker and you'll see what happens here. Here comes here comes the blitz right here. Here's a blitzing guy here and once they get that motion and shift they're going to have a free guy. So he just comes straight up the middle. Three wide receivers. Detmer drops. Water hit in the backfield. They were trying to set up some sort of a screen, but Brian Williams read it perfectly. You know, Brian Williams is going to be player of the game so far. He's, yeah. the, he's the guy that blitzed on that last play, came free and hit Ty Detmer. He's made that tackle. Of the, of the plays so far, I think he's been in on every one of them. There's Fritz Shermer, the defensive coordinator of the Packers. And the top defensive lines I think that has ever been in this game of pro football. They have never, never gotten ahead of him. Detmer up into the pocket, which collapses. And right now for a McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at the Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Pat and John Irving Spice. 48-yard kickoff return sets up kicker Orlando Mare's game-winning 29-yarder. That in OT, Miami wins at 16-13. Miami 2-0, and Marino has yet to throw a touchdown. Back to Pat and John. Nothing, nothing here in Philadelphia. The Eagles, for the third time, will have to punt. Marino hasn't thrown a touchdown pass yet, but he's 2-0. That's the name of the game. That's it. And we can't forget it. So no score between the Eagles and the Packers with 6.56 left to play in the first. Before releasing NFL Game Day 98, we asked Robert Brooks to check it out. Do you like the graphics? The graphics are tight. Go to the house. To the house. To the house. To the house. You like, you like that, yes? Ooh, mm -hmm. out. All the way. Uh, uh, come on, man. Hey, that, that don't show my breakaway speed. Well, I would never say that you lost a step. What? It's, uh, the numbers. Hey, wait, where'd you get the slick tailgate? Go off your table. I made it, Tom. I uh, welded some legs on an old tailgate. Man, we should sell these babies. We can be millionaires. Wayne and Tom do not need to play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. They have no need for big screen TVs or free trip to Super Bowl 32. They invented tailgate coffee table. You did not. So unless you have an idea as good as tailgate coffee table, play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. Roll on through. There's so much life to do. Roll on through to your own best heartbeat true. Right now, Sears' best-selling light truck tire is on sale. The Bridgestone Dueler APT. Sears Auto Center. We keep you rolling. Bridgestone Dueler APT. Great on the road and off. Sale ends September 27th. If a woman destroyed your life, what would you do to pay her back? Will you marry me? And that's only the beginning. Melrose Place, season premiere tomorrow on Fox. Back at Veterans Stadium, Green Bay nothing, Philadelphia nothing, 6.56 left in the first quarter. Neither team has been able to move much so far. Green Bay averaging 1.7 yards per play, Philadelphia 1.9. That right. won't get it done. No, I think part of that is is good defense. I mean, both the defenses have been aggressive, and I think on the other side, very tight offense. I think the Eagle offense is very tight, and I also think the Packer offense and Brett Favre is very tight because he hasn't completed the pass yet. Afraid to make a mistake. At least that's what it looks like. I think Brett Favre just gets overcharged and throws fastball. And complete. 
Brooks, the intended receiver, and that was another fastball going away. And it takes him a while. You know, I mean, he's one of those guys, Brett Favre, that, that is a quarterback uh, kind of in the, you know, with, with a nose tackle or linebacker mentality. And I think he comes out all fired up like he's going to get in a fight or something, and then you get out here and there's no fight, and it becomes a, a finesse or touch game. You know, most teams, the quarterbacks come out at the same time as the kickers and loosen up. Far doesn't come out until the defensive line comes out. And he's probably in there with the defensive lineman hitting his head up against the wall or something. Yeah, this is Levin. Not much room. Out of bounds after one or two yards. Not much. You know, Brett Favre has always had that problem that he that he, he starts the game and he, he just he just has too much adrenaline flowing in him and he's and he's too excited and he's a lot better once he gets calmed down and he'll be better as this game goes on. So if you're playing against him like the Eagles, you want to take advantage of him when he's like this because I'll guarantee you he's not going to stay like this. So when he is like this, you better get to getting him. But he gets up for meetings. <laughs> Here's Fogg back to throw. Lofting for Thomason down the middle. Jeff Thomason limping. Couldn't get under it. Yeah, and, the, and the Packers are, are really out of sync. And they, you know, watching a Monday night, they didn't look like they were they were in sync that no, night. No, they didn't. And then tonight they don't like it. Watch Robert Brooks here. He starts to he starts to make a cut and I don't know that you know that, that his leg or something didn't go out on him because there was a little hole there but not when he was going to make that cut. Hendricks. This one off the side of his foot Mark say back deep handles it for Philadelphia and he's taken down immediately at about the 13 yard line. Randy Kinder was down to make the stop and take him out of bounds. No score at Veteran Stadium. Some kind of no musician policy. How do you get this equipment to these troops when there's a river between them? Build a bridge. Problem solving. You need it now in college. Learn it now in the Army Reserve. We're asking baseball fans to try Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Mm. This tastes really good. Kind of like wakes the mouth up, you know? It's the flavor that I, that I like about it. It's got a lot of taste to it. Try the championship taste of Wheaties. We gotta pick up some Wheaties, without a doubt. Fox presents a new series that dares to reveal what's most exciting about a woman. Her mind. Ally McBeal premieres tomorrow at 9, 8 central. Ah, the famous Philadelphia cheesesteak. If you haven't had one, you owe it to yourself. Yeah, you can't beat that. No. It doesn't take them long to make it either, does no. it? And there it is. It's ready to go. Personal advice is you got to eat it outside standing up. Yeah, and kind of with your knees bent and yeah. your arms extended. And you bring your arms in, eat it, bend over, and then extend the arms again. A little bit of a hunker is required. Ricky Waters breaks it outside, out of bounds. That's Kevin Turner, who's the blocking back for the Eagles. He has a concussion, we're told, and we don't know. If he has a concussion, he shouldn't be back. No, I doubt that he'll be back because I've been watching him here in the sideline, and, and there's been you know three or four or five trainer types around Kevin Turner the last 10 or 15 minutes, so, so they're watching him pretty closely. Two tight ends for the Eagles. Waters goes in motion. Garner gets the carry. Gets away from one. Can't shake the second. Doug Evans. 
Takes down Charlie Garner. Yeah, that's a pretty dangerous setup when they have Ricky Waters and Charlie Garner in there together. That's a package they call Rocket. And, uh, you know, you don't have a blocker there. I mean, there's no Kevin Turner in there, and, and Ricky Waters isn't a great blocker, and Charlie Garner isn't a great blocker, obviously, but threats as runner, both of them, and threats as receiver, both of them. Somebody needs to block it for the Rocket. Detmer pass incomplete intended for Timpson, who juggled it. Might have been deflected. Yeah, I think I think somewhere Ty Detmer and the Eagles are going to have to start throwing some outside stuff because all their all their stuff is inside and slants and those kinds of things and and if you don't throw to the outside then pretty soon they're going to load up on the inside and in the inside zones and just let those outside or flat and out areas go not cover them third and six Detmer back hit just as he let it go but the pass is caught. And that'll be enough for a first down. And that's exactly what he had to do there. He gets the rush, he gets rid of the ball, and we're just talking about, you know, you know, not throwing the slant areas, but get it to the outside, and he throws just as he's getting hit, and he throws a perfect out pattern. Freddie Solomon just picked up or activated this week by the Eagles. Makes the catch and stays in bounds long enough. And he threw the out right to where if it were going to be caught, it would only be caught by Freddie Sauer. Well, John Gruden, the offensive coordinator, was saying, we got to get that Ty Detmer some confidence back. Let him complete some passes. And he's got one complete to Fryer. Fryer cut down from behind by Leroy Butler. He would have scored. That's exactly what they had to do. They did two plays in a row. They went to the out, then they went deep. You just can't keep throwing those little ones, the outs and the slants. You got to go. And as I said, when Green Bay isn't in sync, they're not ready, you have to get them right now. And who's your big play guy? It's Irving Flyer. He makes a little out move, takes a big bite, and then, boom, just straight up the field. Leroy Butler makes a heck of a tackle there. But this is what they have to do first. You have to get that line blocked. They doubled Santana Dobson and Gilbert Brown, and that lets Ty Detmer step up in that pocket. First and goal at the five for Philadelphia. Waters. Down to the three. I think that was great play calling. Those, those, those two plays that got him out of that area, that out to Freddie Solomon on third down, and obviously the big one. You, have, you get the first down, then you go out and up to your big play guy, Irving Fryer. A very good pattern run by Irving Fryer as well. And he's been running good patterns for 14 years in this league. He's amazing. The Eagles didn't get their package in. They had, they had too many guys in the field, and they didn't get the right formation in there, so Ty Detmer has to take a timeout. Right down here is where they'll start missing Kevin Turner, who's the lead blocker, of course, for Ricky Waters. I think they ought to talk right now about passing this play on second down. There at the three, it's third, uh, second and goal from there. First, my wife was worried. She kept saying something about my knees. You have artificial knees. But then I told her about Zoom Air. It's lower to the ground, more responsive. The air unit springs back in 31 hundredths of a millisecond. You could run away from people faster. Or dance around in the pocket, uh, sprint for a first down. Or run away from people faster. I wouldn't be making this comeback without her blessing and my super fast Zoom Air shoes. Michael, you're gonna be late for work. No, you know we're just looking out for you. You see, everything you do says something about you. Uh, All right. Hey, forget your hat. Oh, thanks, Dan. We love you. I love you too. Thanks for waiting. Want a pizza with up to five toppings for just eight ninety nine? Call Pizza Hut delivery and get a second for only five bucks. Dad, I forgot my my phone. These days, we could all use more endurance. Say about 24 hours worth. I know I could. And now I've got it. Because now the odor fighters and new high endurance deodorant last even longer. New high endurance lasts a full 24 hours. No one else is this strong, this long. Plus, it's got this new pure sports scent. So now you can smell better, longer. Guaranteed. Or call 1-800-PROVE-IT. All the place will buy you a stick of yours. Hey, no matter what you're into, now you've got all the endurance you need. A full 24 hours. Guaranteed. 
the unforgettable two-hour season premiere of 90210 begins with a bang. Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Fritz Sermer on the left. Green Bay defensive coach John Gruden on the right who runs the Philadelphia offense. Two tight ends. That's Ricky Warner. Down at the one by Gabe Wilkins. Now, see, I think that second down would have been a, a good down to, to pass on, uh, uh, you know, because on third down, if you get third and a longer short yardage situation, then it's tougher to pass on. Of course, they didn't have Irving Cryer in there. Irving Cryer made that big pattern, and then he came out after that game. So I think that kind of says that they were going to run on second down. And then because they ran on second down, they have to run on this down. And Pryor came back in. That's he in motion. They lost the ball. They fumbled the exchange. Detmer either pulled out too early. Or the snap came too late. Packers, of course, saying they have the ball, and they do. Ray Rhodes beside himself. Fritz yeah. Shermer happy. Well, you know, you're only going to get so many shots at this Green Bay team, and I think when you get them, you have to take them, and you can't get down there and have something like this, obviously. The ball did get up to Ty Detmer. It looked like he was just trying to take it to reverse pivot and hand it off, and the ball hit him in the knee. And slipped through his hand. Oh boy, is that something they make they make a they make a big play and then they come up with something like this. Reggie White, I believe, recovered it. He's on the bottom of that stack. Long time Eagle. And they have so many heroes, but Reggie White certainly stands atop of the heap. to Henderson and Henderson pounds straight ahead and is knocked backwards. He got a yard perhaps. They were talking about playing a good team like the Green Bay Packers and how you're not going to get a lot of shots at him. The Eagles just blew one shot that they had him but they have another shot here. If they can keep him down here not let him get a first down they're going to get good field position again. If they can force him to punt then this isn't a bad area to go for a punt block in. And when you're an underdog like the Eagles playing the world champion, you have to do things like block punt. You have to make some things happen. Levens is the defense. He's got some room. Slipped on the turf just inside the 10, or he would have had the first down. Now, this becomes a big down for, for the Eagles right here. I mean, they have, to, they have to stop the Packers here from getting the first down so that, again, they can go for a punt block or they will end up in good field position. Well, that run by Levens gave them a little room. If they have to punt out of the end zone, they've got a little working room back there now, third and four. And this, this is a passing situation for the Green Bay Packers and Brett Favre. They go with Richard Dent on the Eagle defense up on top, Favre. That'll be a first down to Antonio Freeman. Now they're saying he didn't catch it. It hit the ground. And they will have to punt. I don't think Antonio Freeman did catch that ball. Here he is right here. And you see, he's just going to run up far enough to get the first down, turn around, and hook. And the ball was right there. I mean, Brett Favre has made some pretty good throws today, and the guys have just dropped him. You just see the ball oh, yeah. right there. You see it between yep. his legs. I mean, that ball hit him right between the eight and the six and just slid right down between his legs. And so Hendrick, five yards deep in the end zone. The Eagles don't try to block it. He gets off a good punt to Mark Say, who fumbles that and falls on it. You know, both these teams are awfully tight. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the fans are starting to boo now because... Doesn't they, take long here, does it? Well, they, I mean, they have a right to boo. I mean, they, they get down there and, and, and things that you don't do in high school football, fumbling a snap on the goal line going in, and, you know, dropping a punt when you had a chance at a pretty good punt return. and. I don't, I don't think that it's from not trying. Watch that. That ball hit Mark Say right in the face mask. That's the definition of looking it into your hands, but that not into it, your eyes. That makes it difficult to catch, doesn't it? Yeah, when it bounces off your, uh, your chin, it does. So the Eagles take over at their own 35. There's still no score. The Eagles were close and fumbled. Detmer. Yes. 
Pass is caught by Fryer. And up for first. See, now they have something going out here on this, on this right side because they've thrown an out. They've thrown an out and up, and now they can come back in and throw the ends and hooks and slants again. And that's what this is. You see, Fryer just comes up, turns to the inside, he has a he has a lane open there, and Ty Detmer hits him perfectly. They really are starting to work on Tyrone Williams. Yes. Yes. Williams, of course, is the corner that is playing for Craig Newsom. Newsom injured last week. This is Ricky Waters straight ahead. A yard, maybe. The Packers seem to be having some difficulty with their footwear. That's about three changes for Reggie White. Well, you know, that's that's a problem when you don't come in and practice on the field before. Now, the Eagles, of course, practice here all the time. Some teams come in on Saturday and they go to the field the day before and they work on it so they know what shoes to wear. The Packers didn't do that. Of course, they couldn't have done it anyway because there was a college game here yesterday. Boston College and Temple played here yesterday. So the Packers came late for a late starting game. Green Bay nothing, Philadelphia nothing into one. It's time. Hi, Nancy. You've taken care of every detail. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Now it's someone else's turn. Don't worry. For 200,000 businesses a day, the choice is clear. Think about this. That works really nicely. When their presentations demand they look their best. Wonderful. Today we're talking about productive partnerships. They come to a place that expects the same. Kinko's, the new way to office. Dick, the creator of Miller Lite Advertising, has great news for all football fans. This year, Miller Lite is an official beer sponsor of the NFL. That means that this season will be better than last season. Remember when you were trying to watch a game, but there was that terrible glare? Well, that's not going to happen this year. Dick says, if you like that, you haven't seen anything yet. Stay tuned. In yet another torture test, we drained the oil from this car and added just this much Castrol Syntec. We then ran it over 100 miles per hour and waited and waited. You see, Syntec has a unique molecular structure that bonds to engine parts. And if a little Syntec can protect under these conditions, imagine what a full oil change can do. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can. And now, try Castrol Syntec Power System, a new kind of fuel system treatment. On a special day and time next Sunday at 7, 6 Central, the non-stop movie thriller True Lies, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. Next Sunday on Fox. True Lies. You know, the Packers don't have a first down yet. They only have 20 yards of total offense. The Eagles have 117 yards. Of course, still 0-0, though, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. They're still the world champions. Detmer's throw is behind Fryer, who one-handed it, couldn't hang on. I think we can see in this Eagle game plan so far that the that the guy that's going to be their go-to guy is Irving Fryer, and that's nothing new. And, and in the running game, it's going to be Ricky Waters, so that, that's what we're talking about here. It's in good hands. And then, you know, and they've gotten plays with them, too. I mean, they've, they've, they've run the ins, they've run the slants, they've run the outs, they've run the out and up. Of course, they just fumbled the ball on the goal line when they were going in. Third and nine, they're one out of five in situations like this. Detmer gets it out to Chad Lewis, the rookie tight end who makes the catch but doesn't get enough for a first down, and they'll have to punt it. Yeah, you know, here's, here's, here's Reggie White. Let's watch how they block him. Barrett Brooks has been the right tackle, number 76. They, I mean, he's been a left tackle. He's playing, starting a right tackle for the first time. And, you know, Fritz Shermer's going to give him. So they're running stunts and blitzes and everything, especially on those third and long situations. Tommy Hutton, back to punt. This will be his fourth. Schrader and Pryor back deep for Green Bay. Hutton left-footed. Signal is for fair catch, but the ball bounces, and the Eagles are going to down it 
at about the three yard line. They kept it out of the end zone. And the Packers once again start deep in their own territory. No score at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. It is a basic desire of people everywhere to want to do their jobs better, to design better homes, make a better life, even build a better car. The new Camry. Over 6,500 American workers. Hundreds of improvements. It's been called the best car built in America. Only now it's even quieter, smoother, more comfortable. The new Camry. Better than ever. Yeah, we got a little problem with the hotel. Some kind of a uh, no musician policy. No, no, it's it's fine. I, mean, I got it all under control. Got it all worked out. I I, uh, I found him a place to change. What? Yeah, Bodie, you're handling it. You've got Lenny. No! Yeah. And you think that that's okay? Bodie, you've got Lenny Kravitz in a gas station yeah. bathroom. Please tell me I'm dreaming. Can I carry this to your car? So, want to take this baby for a spin? Sure. Mind sitting in the back seat? Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Lexus Luxury Automobiles, the result of a relentless pursuit of perfection. By Levi's Jeans, they go on. By Miller Lite, who reminds you that anything can happen at Miller Time. And by Texaco, a world of energy. Nothing, nothing in Philadelphia. 13.58 left before halftime. The Packers, an uncharacteristic first four possessions. 20 total yards. Four, three and out. Far. That's his first completion. That to Robert Brooks. Yeah, we talk about how sometimes Brett Favre uh, uh, starts, he gets a little excited. Just watch his first passes. I mean, he's he's throwing them there, but he's just throwing darts. You know, watch here, he's a little off. You know, I mean, he just hasn't gotten into a rhythm yet where he feels comfortable. You talk about adjusting. you got to have time to adjust. And he throws it so hard, you can't. It's but usually there, however. That's leather. The first Packer, first down, Brian Dawkins. But you know the difference between him and a lot of excitable guys is when he settles down, he settles down into excellence. Well, two-time most valuable player of the last two years, the most valuable player in the NFL. And the leader of the pack, Mike Holmgren. You see that ring on his finger? That's the Championship ring, the Super Bowl ring. Can't ever take that one away from you. Henderson, the big fullback outside the 20. You can almost hear Mike Holmgren saying to that offensive unit, okay, okay. It's time to settle down. Let's run the ball a little bit. Throw it when we have to. And part of that is his job, too. You can see that they script. Mike Holmgren scripts the first 15 plays, and he's had eight runs and seven passes. And you see the Levens was going to be the big guy that was going to touch the ball most in his first 15. And you ask any coach what they're looking for, and they say balance. And eight and seven is about as close as you get. Pass complete to Freeman. And that should be enough for another Green Bay first down, Bobby Taylor. And I think, you know, you know, just watch it here now. You can just see that in the first quarter, Brett Favre was still warming up. He throws that slant in. If you're Brett Favre, you can throw into double coverage. I mean, that was that, you know, that cover two with the short, with the corners are going to have him short, and the safety's sitting in there for that thing. And he just throws it right between the defensive corner and the defensive safety. First and ten from their own 30. With 11's in motion. Take the Henderson. Freeman. 
out in the clear and Favre threw a strike. And that was a beautiful throw because Brett Favre was under pressure. Freeman just dropped that. How many has that Freeman's dropped so far? Three at least. Yeah, it's at least three that he's dropped. Watch this, but watch the throw by Brett Favre. He's going to he's gonna get some pressure, and his arm is so strong that he could throw. He doesn't have to have his feet in great position. See, he just threw that one just as he was getting hit, and he, and he stepped parallel instead of stepped forward, and the pass was a perfect pass. Yep. And Antonio Freeman, he looked it into his hands, and then as he brought it into his body, that ball hit his face mask. It goes without saying, you've got to make that catch. Did he get the timeout call I set it up? I don't think so. As I was looking at the clock at yeah. zero, the clock said zero before he said timeout. On the offense, five-yard penalty, still second down. You're right. He tried to call a timeout and didn't get it done in time. Yeah, we're talking about, you know, Antonio Freeman and, and some of those passes. I mean, it's not that Brett Favre has really been that cold. Part of it was he was a little overexcited, but... Antonio Freeman there has dropped three passes thus far. But the thing with Antonio Freeman is, you know, you have to have a bad memory if you're a wide receiver. Corner. You have to forget it. You have to have the next one. And he will because he's a pro. And Brett Favre will forget it, too. And he'll keep throwing to Antonio Freeman. Brooks is wide to the right this time. And Favre rolls in that direction. He gets the ball to Henderson. And he is a load to get down. Troy Benson finally takes down Henderson. You know, Brett Favre runs the bootleg well. You know, the thing where you you, you kind of fake a run and then you keep the ball and it's a play pass and then you can hit anyone. Usually, you roll out and you go to the outside. That time, he just rolled out, pulled up, and hit his fullback, William Henderson. For a 20-yard gain. Henderson in front of Evans, behind Favre. scrambled to get it back. It looked like Earl Dotson. It was Earl Dotson. It was, it was run off Earl Dotson's block. The ball came came off a right tackle. Big Earl Dotson's a right tackle. Evans got hit and that ball popped and started to run and Earl Dotson just goes right after it. That's Earl Dotson. He's number 72. When Levens gets hit, the ball just pops right out of there. Earl Dotson was blocking, and he just throws everything on top of that ball. You don't see it anymore. They pick up yardage as a result of Dotson's recovery, second and one. Takes 11. Pass behind Antonio Freeman. Right now for a McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at the Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Pat and John, rookie Tiki Barber, 88 yards on the ground last week in a touchdown. Nice, nifty four-yard scamper into the pay dirt here. Tiki Barber put the Giants on top 7-3, but Jacksonville is threatening. Back to Pat Summerall and John Madden. No score at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Third and one. That's Henderson who pulls his way for a first down for the Packers. Henderson says he weighs 249. Now, why wouldn't you say 250 instead of 249? Because speed. If you weigh, if you weigh 250, then you don't have speed. If you're in the 240s, you can still have speed. Watch what Brett Favre does, Pat, after he hands off. But he hands off and goes and he makes a face. That's why, that's why his bootlegs are so successful. And you know, there are linebackers that react to the stuff that Brett Favre does after he hands off. Only Brett Favre. Yeah, he, he does jump passes, he does options, everything after he hands off. Brooks. Perfect pass from Favre and he's down. Brooks is at the Eagle 10 by Troy Benson. And we talked about Antonio Freeman, you know, and how many he was throwing. Antonio Freeman dropped three, so now he's going to start to go to Robert Brooks. Here's Robert Brooks here. He's going to come up, and then he's going to run a post pattern. See, in towards the post, and that is a perfect pass. And he hits Robert Brooks right on stride. Look at that ball come in there. I mean, that would be fun to have something like that coming at you and be able to have a stride like Robert Brooks. Fun? Yeah, it would be fun. It just, I mean, if it came in being slow motion. Here's five. Sidearm incomplete. Robert Brooks, the intended receiver, 
You know, when you watch Brett Favre play, he's out there like he's playing, like it's a yeah. game, and he's having fun. Well, he does. I know, but a lot of guys go out there like it's work and, you know, and, you know drudgery and all this stuff. But he goes out there like he's just playing out in the backyard somewhere. I imagine this is just exactly the way he played when he was in high school, grammar school. Just played. Yeah, I mean, he does. And, you know, you know whatever happens, I mean, he's going to run, he's going to go left, throw right. All those things you're not supposed to do, Brett Favre does. That's why he's so good. Jerry, there's too much clutter. Let me know when you change. Change? I'll start with change. Everybody parks, everybody wins. Whoa. Keep changing. Dear Kristen, I've changed. One stamp, please. I know I got it. <laughs> One stamp. Even at the post office, you can do more with the American Express card. You can keep all of this. In Ames, to answer the call of the wild, one must soar with the grace and ease of the majestic eagle. Have the heart and soul of the mighty bear. And seek comfort in the great outdoors. It is here that our ancient spirits find a balanced path in our civilized world. We all care about you! Get away from me! Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. Granted, there was no official house policy about pets, but Terry should have asked first. Go-Go oh! did have his charms in his own quirky way. He was a walking preview of the Rams-Broncos game. Moves like Isaac Bruce, throwing a toughness that was pure Terrell Davis, and you got the whole picture. Hey, guys, have you seen Go-Go? Go, -Go? Yo, uh, Fox NFL Sunday, next week at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Check local listings. Watch this. Here's Robert Brooks. He's going to run the pass pattern. Here's Brett Favre. You're going to see the pass protection, the drop back, the throw, the pass pattern on this side. You know, we start out here. Now, Brooks is going to run the post up and in. And watch Brett Favre just make that throw right now. As he makes a break, he steps up and makes the throw. And Brett Favre gets back out of there, but he had great pass protection. He had the pocket so that he could step up and throw. And Robert Brooks never broke stride. Second and ten. Favre back. Screen pass. Henderson inside the five. Mamula put the heat on Favre. He put Sorted. more than the heat. He clobbered Favre. Favre was looking to the right, and Mamula really clobbers him from the backside. Watch, Mamula's going to come from over here. See, Favre is throwing the screen to the right. He doesn't even see it, see or feel Mamula. Mamula just wrapped him up alongside the head and just threw him face first into the turf. He felt it at the end. Third and five. Now is when Brett Favre excels. Two tight ends. Here's Favre on the rollout. Submarine ball flag on the play. Mamula knocked him again. The one thing he was he was trying to get outside of, of Mamula. Mamula has some speed. Mamula's tough to get outside of. Brett Favre just realized that there's a penalty flag on that. Holding against Green Bay. This is going to be an interesting call for the Eagles. Holding. Turn it down. On the offense, number 63. Penalties decline. Fourth down. Nope, it's not that interesting. <laughs> we already know you. You Made just turn quickly. it down and make them kick the ball. Yeah. Don't give him another shot at scoring a touchdown. We watch Brett Favre. He's coming out here in a bootleg. I think at one point he just could have ran that thing in there. I think so too. He stopped and tried to throw back, and Mamula was right there hitting him as he threw it. 22 yard field goal effort by Ryan Longwell is good. And the Packers, after struggling, score first, and they lead the Eagles 3 0 with 7.54 left in the first half. Sponsored by the U.S. Army. Be part of our team in the Army. 
Eagles coach Ray Rhodes thinks he has the horses to keep pace with the Cowboys in the NFC East. The Eagles' nest is filled with playmakers like Ricky Waters, Ty Detmer, and Irving Fryer. The Eagles hope to have the division all to themselves in 1997. Snowfox 2-1, this is Snowfox base. Snowfox 2-1. Then a storm comes up. And I'm the one who's got to get us out of here. And I remember who gave me courage. This is for them. For my mom and dad, who never missed a game. And for Joe Sergeant McCardle, who showed me what it takes to be a leader. Contact, and for myself, who became one. Yo, down here. I'm the Brooklyn Bridge. You think you could tank me? You want a piece of me, huh? Let's go. You and me. Right now. The undeniably smooth, ever luxurious ES300. The road is going. Answer it. I got your fancy suspension right here. Visitor, previous Friday, September 19th on Fox. Today's overhead shots of Veterans Stadium, courtesy of the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes from Pompano Beach, Florida. The pilot is Dan Thomas. A lot of other sights around Philadelphia. Not many. There's only one guy out there in the, in the sailboat. Everyone else is either at the Eagle game or watching the Eagle game. Eagles have great fans, a lot of them. Sometimes they're very vocal. Yeah, but that's what they pay for. That's okay. At least they're there. Kickoff return by Witherspoon. Mullen made the stop. Yeah. Packers three. The Eagles nothing. 744 left in the first half. Anybody out there? Anybody out there? Of course not. I'm Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. No sights, no shops, nothing but asphalt. The road is cold, and the 200 horsepower V6 ES300 will help you answer it. Oh, now, traffic jam. Green Bay is a small town. When someone leaves here, it means something. It means the entire community has been diminished. It means an acquaintance, a neighbor, a friend has left your life forever. Most importantly, it means there's now some extra seats available. For Sunday's game. Well, it's awfully tough to get tickets from the Super Bowl champs. It's absolutely impossible with American Express. So bring your Visa card. Go, Packers. The official card of the NFL. Who am I? I am an emissary from the Rocky Mountains. I am an ambassador of beer to the nation of Thirstyland. I am a messenger representing cold beer refreshment for sections 220 through 229, equipped with a full tray of Frostbrew Coors Light. I am the only man here who can fully satisfy your needs. I am the beer man. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Are you going out for this one? Let's go. Let's do it. Blue. Hut. Hut. I'm open. A much lower scoring first half than anticipated. Green Bay three, Philadelphia nothing. 7.44 left in the first half. The Eagles have the ball at their own 30. First and 10. Tight end. The pass is incomplete, intended for Fryer. Thrown high by Detmer. You know, one of the worries of this Philadelphia Eagle team had been, you know, how their offensive line was going to do, and I think they're doing okay. I mean, the, you yeah. know, Ty Detmer's not getting a lot of time, but 
By the same token, he's been able to get some plays off. Remember that deep one that he threw to Fryer, and he's been able to have kind of a, a decent day, he's eight out of 13. And I don't think the offensive line is doing a great job, but I think they're doing an average job thus far. Second and 10. That's Waters over the left side for a couple. And if you're going to run, though, against the Green Bay Packers, you have to get number 93, Gilbert Brown block, or get away from him. I mean, you know, they. I think the Eagles are just going too much at him because this is a tough one. I mean, this this is an all-day sucker. I mean, this I is it type of thing that you're not going to get any movement on him. How are you going to get him blocked? No, you're not. I mean, you have to just kind of get a stalemate and then run away from him or run right by him, but you can't run anywhere near over him. Three wide receivers. Detmer quickly to Mark Say. It might be just a little bit shy of a first down. Leroy yeah. Butler. Maybe he has it. That is very close, and that's that's the problem. And that was why we were talking to John Gruden that they wanted to get, you know, have success on first down, stay out of third and long, because they really don't have plays to get, you know, 10, 11, 12 yards. They got a lot of plays to get three, four, five yards on third down passing, but they hate to be in that third and eight, and that's exactly what they were. And this is going to be very close. They had already started to move the chains. I believe Kevin Turner has returned to the Eagle huddle. You know, they said earlier that uh, that he had a concussion, and now he's, he's back in there. Either he didn't have a concussion or he's playing with a concussion. He shouldn't be doing that. that. But, well, you know, but, but they had a lot of medical people down there looking yeah. at him. I saw him. Yeah. He's carrying the ball. And he got maybe a yard. You know, that's the thing that you wonder about sometimes. Yeah. It's like, you know, like Steve Young last week with the 49ers gets a concussion. They take him out. They bring in the backup, Jeff Brom. Jeff Brom gets hurt, and then they bring Steve Young back in. Now, either Steve Young had a concussion and shouldn't have been playing and can't go back in, or he should have been in there anyway. You know, some of, you know sometimes teams do things in the heat of battle that when you kind of analyze them after, don't make one heck of a lot of sense. That debate about Steve Young is still going on. Should he have been in there? Should he not? Detmer has the pocket collapse. Gilbert Brown and Reggie White. Gilbert Brown Gilbert. got the old Brown shuffle. You see that one? That's the move. When he get that's that's the other thing. I mean, you know, we talk about what he can do in the run, but he can also do what they call collapse a pocket. He just takes the center ever, and he just goes right by him. When he gets by him, then he just puts his hands out and starts to rumble. Now, this that's, guy weighs 300. 350 pounds. I know, and, and when he gets his stuff going up the field, it's rumbling. And when you're the quarterback, you got a rumble coming at you. And it's a lot of stuff. Detmer. Waters. A jar to Charlie Garner, beg your pardon. Upended. Not a popular call. Play selection by the crowd. Well, I said these Eagle fans are are, are are good fans. That's part of being a good fan. If you don't like something, say it. That's that's your right, too. But they better get big old Gilbert Brown blocked. Gilbert yeah. Brown's name is up. By, we got to find out someday why that name is on a shelf on the top because of his head. Because that's the way he's built. That's the way his head goes right into his shoulders. He doesn't have any neck. And you usually, the, the shelf is caused by not having any neck. He's lost his neck somewhere. Weighing 350. This is Strader. Knocked out of bounds. How'd you like to be that bench? I mean, you're just my, sitting there minding your own business. You know, you're the bench and you're looking. Here comes big old Gilbert Brown. I mean, you, you'll be this part of the bench. How'd you like to be that part of the bench? You're just kind of hanging in there. They built you, they made you, they yep. put you in a truck, brought you down well, here. You can't give up. <laughs> down there, and here comes old 93 and you're looking up. And all you can see is that coming down well, on that you. That guy sitting next to him, Reggie White, looks looks slim. That's why Reggie White sits next to him to look slim. Well, Reggie was slim. We talked to him yesterday. Yeah, but, you know, if you were that part of the bench right there, at the end of the day, you'd be proud, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know? It would be tough to get insurance. Uh, you said, boy, I got Bill my end of the deal. Far, he didn't see the rush coming from behind him. He gets it out to Henderson. And Henderson gets about six yards. William Thomas made the stop. 
Hey, this Eagle defense is really going after Brett Favre, you know, and he's he's running out of the pocket, but every time he throws the ball, they're knocking him down. Amula's done a job. Yeah, I mean, every time he throws the ball, anytime he moves and throws the ball, they're knocking him down. He's having better success of not getting knocked down when he stays in the pocket. Brett Favre's a tough guy. Anderson gets the carry, met right at the line of scrimmage by Red Hall and Hollis Thomas. I was watching a, a show this morning, and Hollis Thomas was on it, and he was cooking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was on a cooking show. He was cooking spaghetti. It well, looked pretty good. And then I, he just, I, I think he sampled it. I know he did. It's all right down in there. And he cooked it, and then he cooked it for himself, and then he ate it all. Oh. <laughs> there was no, no guest, no one else, just him. He had big old pots of spaghetti, and, and he cooked and ate the whole thing. And the key word being all. Now you're talking. Henderson is the lone back and far. As the pass almost picked off, intended for Brooks. And pass interference is going to be called on Benson. Well, Troy Benson did a pretty good job of, you know, the, the slant pass is such a big pass in this offense where the you know, wide receiver goes down about three yards and slants to the inside. But the corners are playing it too. And Troy Benson just jumps that, that slant. You see the slant is going to be down to the inside. Here's Troy Benson. He's going to read it and he's going to jump it right there. He's going to try and beat him in the there to it. Number 23. But the interference was was Troy Benson had his hands on Robert Brooks when the ball was in the air because the, the hit was legal was it yep. was within the first five yards so that was okay but have you know touching him when the ball was in the air is not hey, Richard Dent we were talking to him at practice yesterday and he was saying I, I still got a few more rushes left in me uh, and he told me he said I'm gonna feel better today being yesterday than I will for a long time I won't feel this good for a long time so many great years with the Bears. The pass is complete to Henderson, and Henderson banging around the ball floats, and the Eagles have it. I think James Willis got that yep. ball. James Willis, you're right, made the recovery. That's one thing about being a 250-pound fullback. When you get in the open field, they're going to get some real shots on you. And the Eagles do. They get one there. Boom. They get one there. The ball's knocked right out of there. And James Willis, number 50, just grabs it with his left arm. He just grabs it and swishes it in. Now, Anderson is 250. He was 249. Or either that or he was 250. He's 249. Now he got something knocked out of him. The ball. Willis has still got it. First to 10 Eagles to Green Bay 36. Packers leading 3-0. That's Ricky Water. Surge on the right side of the line gets him about three yards. And we talk about first down being so important that you know if you want to be in a third and and one, two, three, or four, then you have to gain at least four or five yards on first down. You know, if you don't, now they got to come back on second down and have a play that gets them at least four or five yards because they are not a good team in third and long. Second and seven. Three waters again. And he didn't get the prescribed number of yards to yeah. put him in a situation they want to be in. And that's why the fans are booing. They know that. I mean, you know, that if you're going to run, then you have to pick up yards, and you can't leave it at third and five or third and six. But Fritz Shermer's knowing that, and he's, you know, because they can take away those things at seven, eight, nine, ten yards and make you throw in this right, offense right. those things at two and three yards. Big Gilbert Brown gets a rest. Packers have a three man front, but they're showing blitz. And the Eagles get nothing done before the two minute warning. That is a two minute warning. Walt Coleman is the referee. The Packers over the Eagles, 3-0. Hi, Tiger. Show me Tiger. Fuel brings out the Tiger in you at GNC and other health food stores. Hey, I'm just going to try this one on. Start on every testing with Emmett Smith in area. Thank you for volunteering. We've been waiting for you. Here, have a seat. 
All right, I want you to show some enthusiasm. So what if it's a little cold? I have to play in the snow. I want to hear some cheering and some clapping. Here's some wind. Okay, your starter approved. Maybe this one. Maybe you should try it on. Starter, available at Champ Sports now. Hey, wait, where'd you get the slick tailgate off the table? I made it, Tom. I uh, welded some legs on an old tailgate. Man, we should sell these babies. We can be millionaires. Wayne and Tom do not need to play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. They have no need for big screen TVs or free trips to Super Bowl 32. They invented tailgate coffee table. You did not. So unless you have an idea as good as tailgate coffee table, play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. There are a lot of shows about friends. This isn't one of them. The new season of Melrose Place begins tomorrow on Fox. That's the aircraft carrier Saratoga nearby Philadelphia Navy Yard, which has been closed. And all kind of retired ships over in that area close by Veterans Stadium, 35 on the Green Bay 31. Three wide receivers for Philadelphia. No blitz. Detmer. Flag on the play. Detmer, there was nobody even close to where he threw the ball. It's right in that area where his left tackle, Jermaine Mayberry, Mayberry was, and Gabe Wilkins, and I'll bet you that's holding in the left tackle. That's where the official threw it. Where Ty Detmer threw it, I'm not sure, because not there was there was no white jersey Holding in that area. The offense, Only the end of the tunnel. Penalties declined. Fourth down. Holding cost called against Mayberry. Yeah, here's Mayberry right here. Here's Wilkins right here. The official throws it from the side. See, Mayberry, the reason he had to hold is because he got a late start and he had a double team. I mean, that whole play was an ugly play. He got a takedown. Yeah, he, he, he didn't get off on the ball and he, he was slow and he had help. He didn't have to do that. But again, the, it didn't make any difference because they didn't take the penalty. Chris Bonio, the ex Dallas Cowboy, will try the field goal. And Bonio's kick is wide left. That broke his streak. He hit, I believe, 28 in a row. 49 yard effort. Hooks left. Don't forget, coming up, the Docker Khakis halftime with J.B. and Terry and scores and highlights. And some strange scores from around the league today. And I think our halftime score is probably going to be one of them. One of the strange ones. Because, uh, you know, we know that you know that one of the most explosive teams in the league is the Green Bay Packers, and, and they haven't been explosive this half. And part of it, I think they were a little tentative. They, they, they dropped some passes. And the other part of it was the Eagles have really gone after them. I mean, the Eagles have been crisp. They've made things happen. They've, they've, they've rushed. They've knocked Brett Favre down. They've, they hit Henderson. They cause fumbles. They're, they're hustling. They're aggressive. They're flying to their ball. They're doing all those types of things for the Packers. He takes over. The rush comes from the other side. Favre pass is out of the reach of Robert Brooks. Again, Mamula. Broke away from the Green Bay protectors. Michaels has had a tough time with Mamula. Yeah, and, and if they're going to help someone, they're going to have to help John Michaels on Mamula because, because he just he just can't get the job done by himself. He just doesn't have enough quickness, and Mamula does have the quickness. At he least went right by him. Michaels, when he went by him, at least he didn't come out and hold him or not. He just, he just yelled, look out. That's what a tackle does. You know, when a guy gets by him, he just yells out to his quarterback, look out. Why they call it a lookout block. Too many lookouts and somebody else will be playing. Brooks in motion, far back to throw it. Here comes Mamula again. Got away inside that time. The pass caught by Antonio Freeman. Well, that's why Michaels can miss Mamula like that because Brett Favre can get away from it. Mamula's going to take an inside move on John Michaels here. You see, he starts up, he goes into the inside, and again, Michaels has to yell, look out. Brett Favre moves outside where Mamula came from and completes that pass. First and 10, Green Bay. Favre gets it outside. Tight end, Thomason. Knocked out of bounds, picked up five yards, stops the clock, however. Yeah, they did two things that time for Mamula. They, one, they threw away from him, and two, they double-teamed him. 
So, you know, we're not the only ones that see the Pamula's yeah. eating up John Michaels. They're seeing that from the sideline and saying, okay, let's uh, let's give him a little help. And that's exactly what they do. Watch Mamuli here and Michaels here. He's going to get chipped by the back, Levins. You see, he gets there. Now watch Levins. You see, they just end up in a double team and then throw away from Mamula. Second and five. Far back to throw again. Here comes the pressure again. Far gets rid of it. That time, what they did is they sent Mamula on the inside and then brought the corner, Bobby Taylor. Bobby Taylor comes outside, so everyone is so concerned with Mamula that they all go in with him, and then Bobby Taylor comes outside. Here's Mamula in here. Here's Taylor coming from the outside. You see, they're all looking at Mamula. They got him blocked, but no one blocks nor sees Bobby Taylor. They tackled him, Mamula. See, here's Mamula here. You see, here's Bobby Taylor coming up from the corner. He looks like he was going to cover the wide receiver. They go in with Mamula, and he doesn't cover the wide receiver. He rushes the quarterback. Third and five, and again, the pressure. And again, Favre lofts it into the hands of Brooks. They beat the blitz. How in the heck did he get rid of I that ball know. and throw it so perfectly? I mean, one, getting rid of the ball is something, but then throwing a perfect pass like that. When you bring that blitz, you get man-to-man -man coverage in the secondary, and Favre is just too good. And hit, but hasn't been sacked. <laughs> Makes the draw play. Throws it sidearm, underarm to Antonio Freeman, who again can't make the catch. You know, they say in the NBA that Michael Jordan is worth the, the price of admission. Yeah. I think in football, in the NFL, I think this guy right here, Brett Favre, is worth the price of admission. Just to watch him and the way that he does things. I mean, some of the things he does with some help, but a lot of the stuff he does on his own. Somebody I mean, hit his arm. I know. <laughs> he's throwing him. He's stepping backwards. He's yeah. stepping up. He's going sideways. This guy, to me, he's amazing. Plus, you know, through that all, he's having fun. Yep. Here the Eagles showing blitz, and here they come at the car with Longton. Pass is caught by Derek Mays, who's down at the one-yard line, a one-foot line. And Favre takes another timeout there last. That's that old fade stop thing. I don't know that he did take a timeout. Maybe not. No, he's trying to get him up there, and he's trying to, he's going to try and stop the clock. Because it's only say well, he, he has the first down, so he doesn't have to worry about down. Brooks left, throws right, incomplete, flag on the play. Maybe they weren't set. I think everyone thought he was just going to get up there and throw the ball down. I don't know that the offense or the defense was set. I saw him earlier signaling timeout. Oops. <laughs> But the officials didn't see it. Well, he, he, he started to go towards yep. the Packers, and then he turned and went towards the Eagles. What's that all about? The official. Yeah, that was the old double dip on that one. Offside on the defense, half the distance to the goal, still first down. He's well, not from around here. No, the good thing about that, too, for the Packers is that it stopped the clock. So now they have, you know, plenty of time to huddle up and, and go, go in and call the play. Plus, they, you know, having one timeout left, they still can run the ball. This is goal. They get to Levin. Levin doesn't make it. Now they have to take their timeout. Now, do you kick a field goal or... No, I would I would take the timeout and run a play because with 16 seconds they could still run a play and of course that play has to be a pass or a touchdown. I mean, right. if, if, you, if you score with it, then you don't care. You don't but, have time to get the field goal. No, team it on has the field. to be it, it has to be a pass. They don't have time to run unless they know that they're going to run and get a touchdown. Don't forget again coming up the Dockers halftime report, the Dockers khakis halftime report, and there have been a lot of interesting scores. Tampa Bay unbeaten. A lot of interesting things still going on. But see, by going going here on, on, on second down, those cheese heads are all over, aren't they? Put them on a cheesesteak. <laughs> That's where they end up on Sunday nights. But if by, by passing on second down, you have a two-way go. You know, you, you pass, 
and then if you if you if it's complete it's a touchdown if it's incomplete then you still have the second go which is a field goal attempt this close I guess you could pass once and run once you only I have think you would though you don't have any time out so you have to it has to be a pass Barb rolls left chase goes in the end zone touchdown Reggie Johnson just activated. I think they're saying no. They're saying no. Yeah, I think they said incomplete. Really? Let's look again. Well, we saw Far doing the the celebration. Yeah, the ball, uh, ball the loose. ball comes out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're going to see the ball hit the ground. Once the ball hit the ground and then bounce back up. That's that's incomplete. That's an incomplete pass. They're going to go for it on third down. Barb lost it. And a flag on the play. That'll stop the clock. Reggie Johnson again, the intended receiver. And the clock is stopped again with six seconds left. Now, if that's, I, I think they're probably going to, even though the penalty will be against the Philadelphia Eagles, and if it is against the Philadelphia Eagles, I think with six seconds to go, I think now you have to kick a field goal. Because, see, it the, is against Philadelphia. Right, the penalty can't give them a touchdown. I don't see the field goal unit coming out. Uh, then, then, then what the. On the defense, number nine. That's going to be an automatic first down, so which doesn't make any difference because you only have six seconds to go. The penalty is about an inch long, half the distance to the goal line. And I don't know if if the Eagles hold here. I don't know that they're going to get another play. I I would think that you'd have to kick a field goal here. I don't think they can run but one play. Yeah, that's the thing. And if, and if, and if it's not a score now, if it's a score, then the coach looks like a genius. If it's not a score, time is probably going to run out. The Eagles take this time out. They have one left, but that doesn't make any difference. Now, see, because you know you only have one play here and you're going for this touchdown. Now, for the Packers, this situation could be a run or a pass. This, this is the before they had to pass, which they did. In this situation now, they could run or pass, knowing that they're just going to go for it. Or they could change their mind and send in the field goal team. But they don't make any indication of that. And uh, if it's successful, I mean, Mike Holmgren just had a had a street named after him. It's Holmgren Way. They might uh, make it a boulevard or something. Well, he wanted a boulevard. He he grew up in San Francisco on Dewey Boulevard. Yeah, I knew Dewey Boulevard because I grew up not far from there. They said you want a street, a way, a boulevard. What do you want? He said a boulevard and. A, City Council said, no, 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 you can't have a boulevard. You know Boulevard's got to have trees in the middle or something like that. This, this, this is a big play here. Frankie Winters is moving the ball closer to the goal line. Look at him. And Barb is back to throw it and does throw it. It's incomplete. And there's still three seconds left. That's the other thing they could do is throw a three-second pass. Now they got to kick now the field goal. Kick field. Mike Holmgren looked as if he didn't know what Brett Favre was doing. Yep, he knew that he was going to throw it. He knew that you know he had six seconds, but he said you got to get back there, boom, one, two, three, and get rid of that ball. Well, the Eagles have to get somewhat of a lift out of this. I think so, and the fans realize that too. He made one field goal today. Longwell did. He hit the second, and that makes it six nothing Packers. But they come away without that cherished touchdown. Mike Holmgren is headed in the wrong direction. I wonder where he's going. I think he's going to talk to the officials, I would bet, because the Packers went out the other end, and he's coming over here to talk to the officials. In any case, that's the end of the first half with the score Green Bay 6, Philadelphia nothing. Fox NFL Sunday will continue with the Dockers Khakis halftime report after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Interesting kickoff formation. Watch yeah. this one. This is what the Eagles do. This is a, a bunch kickoff. You see, they don't 
line up in a line where the Packers know who to block. They line up here in a bunch. They all get in a circle, and then they're going to, boom, they're going to break out of that and then go downfield. So the, the Packers don't know which one they're going to block. Watch this one. High kick down to Schrader. Schrader. And maybe they didn't know which one to block, but Schrader gets it back outside the 30. They found out quickly that they <laughs> wanted to block. Let's look at first half statistics. Packers lead it 6 0. Neither team really got control of this thing, though. Yeah. You know, they, neither offensive line took over, and you can see that. You know, unless you can rush, the Packers only have 46 yards and the Eagles have 47 yards of rushing. Unless you can rush the ball, run the ball, it's hard to knit things together, to keep them together. Remember, they had a tough time rushing the ball against the Bears in the first half last Monday night. This is Levin. Levin. First down and more. Finally tripped up by Troy Benson. Well, like Mike Holmgren was was saying at halftime, you know, all they have to do is do the, the same types of things they did because they don't have to give John Michaels a lot of help because the guy that helps John Michaels more than anyone is Brett Favre by just getting away from him. That was a 14-yard pickup by Levin. And, of course, they have to eliminate those drop passes that they had. Here's Favre. Caught by Brooks. Brett Favre got hit a lot in the first half. He wasn't sacked, but he got hit a lot. Yeah, and, and it was every time that you know, he would just throw the ball, and the guy that was doing most of the hitting was Mike Mamula. But that's, you know, I know Ray Rhodes is telling him, okay, every time Brett Favre goes back to throw the ball, we want him to end up on his back. You saw three times he did. Far back to throw. Steps up into the pocket. Shovels and the pass is picked off by Red Hall. Hall to the 20, to the 15. Far with the underhanded backhand pass makes the stop. This time it didn't work. And he got the pressure again from Mike Mamula. Mike Mamula was coming around the corner. He had to step up inside and then he threw that errant pass. But watch for Mula here. He's coming here. Brett Favre will see him coming and step inside of him. You see, he feels the pressure here. Now watch when he feels it there. You see, then he has to step up. Then he gets more pressure straight up the middle. He underhands the ball, but he underhands it right to Red Hall. Watch Red Hall, number 97. He just back there. He just starts rumbling down that sideline. And the Eagles have it first and 10 at the Green Bay 15. Water. Knocked backwards. Maybe if they give him his motion forward, he got a yard. At Gilbert Brown, I mean, sometime they're going to figure out we cannot run the ball right at Gilbert Brown. I mean, that's the old, I mean, the, you know, you know, the rat and the mouse. I mean, the guy, the rat goes in, turns left, point, he gets hit over the head, turns right, he goes to the cheese. I mean, you can only go to the left so often. I mean, you see what Gilbert Brown did there? That don't was like they run into a wall. Don't they watch the same tapes we watch? I don't know, but I just, I would try someplace else to run other than at number 93 green you better know where he is if you're going to try to run here's Detmer back to throw and the pressure from Reggie White that time under throws water see and again you know you know that creates that second and long see because you go on first down and you try and run and you don't have any success then you get a second along, then you don't have any success. Now you're third and 10. And again, this Eagle offense and their players are not set up for third and 10. Well, you, you double team Big Gilbert Brown, and then that means you single on Reggie White and the other two defenders. And watch him now on a, on a, on a third and long pass rush situation. That's when Reggie's at his best. Here comes Reggie. Knocked Detmer down. He got rid of the ball, but that wasn't his fault. Uh, that was a perfect, that was Reggie's old hump move. And you see, he did it perfectly to Barrett Brooks. Watch Reggie here. There's Barrett Brooks. 
Now watch, he starts like he's going to go up to the outside, then he gets his right arm in there. Watch his right arm. See the right arm? And just with one arm, he just lifts him and throws him to the side, and then just whack right over Troy Detmer. Well, you could see that one coming. When they got third and ten, you knew Reggie was coming that way. And he brought the full package. Bonio will drive from 32 yards out this time. And Bonio is good this time. It's 6-3. The Packers up by a field goal. 12 and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Let's go back to the situation of Prohibition. Prohibition was an extremely difficult period for the Bush family. That period almost broke the company. Grandfather had a couple of choices. So he went into the yeast business, he went into the soft drink business, he went into the making of carriages, he went into the making of cabinets. When Prohibition finally came to an end, my father wanted to do something for his father. He did so by presenting him with an eight-horse hitch, the Clydesdales. The Clydesdales were taken down Pennsylvania Avenue, where the first case of beer was delivered to then-President Roosevelt. The Clydesdales today are a symbol of that quality, of that tradition, of that excellence that is the hallmark of Budweiser, that is the hallmark of Anheuser-Busch. nephew. What could he be up to right now? Hanging out, pondering the mysteries of the universe, growing up much too fast. Well, now's the perfect time to find out. Starting today, MCI introduces Five Cent Sundays. Five cents a minute, every minute of every Sunday, if you're an MCI customer. And if not, call 1-800-SUNDAYS to become one. NFL Sunday is brought to you by Budweiser, Beachwood Age for a crisp, clean, classic taste. By Sears, come see the many sides of Sears. By Coca-Cola Classic, always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. And by Direct TV, satellite TV at its best. Six to three. The Packers over the Eagles, 12-32 left in the third. There's that bunch cover to cover the kickoff again. Aaron Hayden will return this kick. And Hayden still on his feet. Flag on the play. Good return by Hayden. Aaron Hayden. Remember, Aaron Hayden was the, the starting running back a couple years ago with the San Diego yep. Chargers. They let Natron Means go, and uh, Hayden was going to be their running back. Yeah, if we watch that bunch again, Pat, we see. Holding on the return team, number 91. You see what they do is, is these guys all have an assignment of who they're going to block, but they don't know where they are until they release from here. So now as you watch the thing, as, as they as they come out and they start to go, you see they go out into one, two, three, four, five on each side of the kicker. Now, now what the Packers are doing is they're just zoning. They're not worrying about where they line up. They're just coming down, setting up, and then the bunch was good. The coverage was pretty good, but they missed tackles when they got down there. Two missed tackles. Here's Favre. He's 11. He's hit by Willis and knocked backwards. Now four no game. Well, they didn't know if James Willis was going to be okay to play today, and he's been, he's, he's been playing pretty well. We're talking about Gilbert Brown and the inside running uh, when you run against the Packers, and the the Packers have been having the same trouble with their inside run with with James Willis. Of course, Willis being a linebacker, Gilbert Brown being an old big old tackle. A lot of people said, "Why well, they won't miss Edgar Bennett because they got Dorsey Levin." Pass is caught by Thomason. The tight end. Now he said um, uh, Mark Shamira was really one of Brett Favre's favorite targets, and that's his favorite pass pattern. You know, if you're going to double outside and you're going to double out on Antonio Freeman or Robert Brooks, then you have to be able to get someone up the middle. Whereas you don't have Shamira now, so that guy has to be Jeff Thomason. 
They weren't even sure yesterday if Jeff Thomason was even going to suit up. They or weren't even play. sure in the pregame warm-up how effective he'd be. But he's caught a couple of passes. This is Levens again. Not much doing. You can't run around him. Greg Jefferson made the stop. You know, and this is, is kind of how what a, a, a big play offense is that when it lacks consistency. You see that five pass plays for 128 yards. Then they had 24 other pass plays that only gained 56 yards. So that's kind of the, the all or none type of theory. But again, the, the, the Packer offense just really hasn't hasn't been in sync today. Second and 12. Gives to Stayed ahead inside the Philadelphia 40 down to the 39. Stopped again by Willis. Someone better tell John Michaels the snap count. John Michaels is trying to block Mike Mamula and he has a tough time doing it. You watch him here. Here he is. Here he doesn't even get out of his stance. Watch the ball stamp. Look, he just stays right there. What the heck's that all about? That's one way. <laughs> You're thinking if you don't move, maybe he won't move. John Michaels stayed in the stance. You know, it's amazing how many times that happens. At this level, when the linemen, the offensive linemen, forget the snap count. Barb looks right, goes left, incomplete. I mean, if you're blocking Mike Mamula, you know, I mean, that's that's the one advantage that an offensive guy has is that he knows the snap count and the defensive guy doesn't. And if you're blocking Mike Mamula, you want every advantage yep. you can get, and you don't want to forget your advantage. And you don't want to forget the snap count because, as you said, that is your advantage. But how can you do that and just stay in your stand? Everyone else is playing and you just stay I, in your stand. I don't know. The You're heck is that? In shock. I'm in shock. I just passed out. Come back soon. Into the end zone. They'll bring it back to the 20. The score remains six to three. Who would have thought? We talked about shootout and thought about shootout, but three field goals. See the world run. Run, world, run. Run. See Texaco run. Visualize. Hypothesize. Explore and relentlessly search and find the energy the world needs to run. Run, world, run. Texaco, a world of energy. Welcome to your room. Here is your sleeping area. And this is a place for you to eat and relax. And around this corner, excuse them, moi <laughs> this is your work area. For about the same price, Residence Inn has all the places ordinary hotels say they do. And this is your exercise area. We just put them in different places. Residence Inn by Marriott. Room to relax, room to work, room to breathe. season premiere of 90210 begins with a bang Wednesday at 8 7 central on Fox providing today's shots from above is the Goodyear blimp stars and stripes the Goodyear blimps first live sports coverage was way back in 1960 at the Orange Bowl Detmer back to throw. Doesn't have much time. And misses Ricky Waters. You know, and that's that's what that has happened to both of these teams. They they really haven't gotten a running game going. And then because they don't have a running game going, the defenses are just teeing off so the passers don't have any chance. And the, the defensive lines, I guess, of the defenses have really taken over this these game this game and the offenses haven't gotten any control of it. 
second and ten. Fryer on the move. Here comes the rush from Green Bay again. Detmer gets it out. To Michael Kempson. Tyrone Williams made the stop. And he was a little slow getting up. But he's okay. There's Tyrone Williams is taking Craig Newsom's place. You know, they say that's not a big thing because Tyrone Williams played in their nickel and dime, and, and whenever they played nickel and dime, he was the corner. So he played corner for him all last year in big games all the way to the Super Bowl and, you know, covered Jerry Rice and, you know, you know and Michael Irvin and all the top guys in this league. So they're not worried about Tyrone Williams as far as the cover guy. Here's Detmer back to throw, and here comes the rush by Reggie White around the corner. And the flag goes down. And they're finally getting to Barrett Brooks. You know, they were worried about Barrett Brooks. He was the starting left tackle for a couple of years. Then he was beaten out by Jermaine May Mayberry. So then he was moved to right tackle. Last week was Troy Drake who started. Troy Drake isn't even suited up today. Barrett Brooks is starting at right tackle and having to block Reggie White. There's no foul on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. No foul. Here's Reggie White right here. And you just see he doesn't use the hump move there. It looks like Barrett Brooks is waiting for the hump yeah. move. He's waiting for that inside arm to come up for, to his inside. And then he just lets him get that outside shoulder and run right around him. Hutton back to punt it. <laughs> Left puts it to Schrader. Signals fair catch. Makes it. Green Bay will take over just about their own 40-yard line. Big back of Gilbert Brown, 6-3 is team lead. perhaps our most impressive safety advance ever. A Volvo that can save your soul. Introducing the all-wheel drive cross-country from Volvo. Freedom on the Field, brought to you by Southwest Airlines. With fares so low, you have the freedom to fly. You know the old saying, what goes up must come down. Ball tipped in the air and oh, McCaffrey has scored! The only question is where, when, and to whom. Back is Tom Zack. Fires a pass. It's knocked into the air. Intercepted with the football. And it's now loose. And the Steelers have it. Put that in the highlight film. That, that'll make your NFL video. Who cares with the past so behind? Wouldn't you love to be free? To go wherever your whims take you. Whenever you want, for any reason at all. Drifting along with a tumbling tumbleweed. With Southwest, you can. You are now free to move about the country. If a woman destroyed your life, what would you do to pay her back? Will you marry me? And that's only the beginning. Melrose Place, season premiere tomorrow on Fox. Historic. Philadelphia, that's the house of Betsy Ross, the famous house of Betsy Ross, the interior, where she sewed the first, the original flag with the 13 stars signifying the original 13 colonies. And what it's grown into. They've done a marvelous job here. First and 10. For the Packers at their own 40 11th goes in motion. Far looks to Freeman, throws to Brooks. First down. You know, these Eagle corners, Troy Vincent and, and, and Bobby Taylor have really done a good job. I mean, they've jammed the outside receivers. They've kind of controlled those slants and those quick out, outside areas. So now, Brett Favre, has he found anything soft? It's in the middle. So that's where he's going to work with his back, his tight end, and bring his receivers into the middle of the field. That's where the open area is in this pass defense. Thomas in the tight end is on the right side. Favre makes. Blitz is coming. Freeman out of bounds. Brian Dawkins took him out of bounds. Favre was taken down by the blitz. 
And, and now, now here's Bobby Taylor. He's he's a corner. Now he's going to come on a blitz, and that's who he hits. You see, the minute that that Favre feels that Bobby Taylor's coming, he knows that that, that Antonio Freeman is working on a safety out there. And at some point, he's going to be open, but he has to be able to stand in there and get the ball off and get it to Freeman as Bobby Taylor is hitting him. And he threw that ball leaning backwards. Threw it kind of sidearm, but still got it there. And getting smacked. This is Levin. Barb carried out another of his famous fakes that time after he handed off to Levin. Did you usually when you hear that? Did you hear that noise in there where someone went, "Whoa!" That's usually a groin pull. You know, when you when you start going one way and someone goes back the other way, you're running, running, running. Yeah. And like, oh, you know, he went the other way. But no one pulled a groin. But that's the sound you usually hear before a groin pull. But all 22 are still out there that started to play. Barb buckles up his chin strap, second and seven. Henderson and Levin's move. Here comes the blitz again. Levin stayed in to pick it up. Barb is high. Intended for Brooks to flag on the play. Yeah, they're going to call that hitting Barb late that time. Again, they've been trying to knock him down, and they have been knocking him down every play. And they've been close. They've been close before. They're going to say that that one that he threw the ball because they've really been beating him up pretty much today. We have a personal foul the on score. the defense. Number 20, roughing the passer. 15 yards, first down. Dawkins. And you're going to see he's going to come from the other side. You see they have the pressure up there. There's Dawkins just coming straight up the middle. And he, he hit Favre just after he threw it. That was pretty close. Very close. I don't think Brett Favre was sure that that was a penalty himself because he's been he's had he's had worse ones today than that one that Brian Dawkins just did. He didn't argue. He didn't he didn't protest. 18 times he's been hurried or hit. That's Henderson inside the 10 to about the eight. Mamula at the bottom of the pile. You see that fake after the handoff? Yeah. Watch him. Here's here's the thing that he tries to do, <laughs> and it's not bad. I mean, he, he just hands off, then he fakes a jump pass. <laughs> so he looks. He's just out there playing. I mean, that's his that's his old jump yeah, pass fake. And like I says, he says he has a dive option that he fakes now. He has a bootleg he fakes, adding to his repertoire. Four wide receivers. Throw. Drills it. Incomplete. Intended for Schrader. Well, that could have well been an covered. interception. Yeah. I don't know that Brian Dawkins saw that because that was into double coverage. But again, you know, Brett Favre is so confident. He throws the ball so hard. He really believes that he can throw the ball into the hole of a donut. And that's what he tried to do there. I mean, he tried to throw that into a hole of a donut. Big donut. Schrader, the donut was right between the eight and the four of Schrader. He hit him there. The ball bounced up in the air. Brian Dawkins almost got it. Third and seven. Uh, fakes and throws it away in the end zone and field goal time again. Barb is down after he let it go. And again, he was hit by Bobby Taylor on and that same blitz. He he took advantage of Taylor, but Taylor was the guy that's going to come off that corner again. And you're going to see him coming up here, right here, and he's going to make. But see when Brett Favre turns, the first thing that he sees as he turns the throw, he sees number 21. He just threw it up in the air and threw it away. Ryan Longwell, 27 yards this time, is good, and the Packers increase their lead to 9-3. There's no question that computers open up entirely new worlds. But what about children who live in a world that can't afford personal computers? Fortunately, as of today, we'll never have to ask that question again. Network computers allow everyone to join the information age. And we'd like to say, welcome.
some of us know it will be all right, even when bad things happen, because we have someone to help see us through it. Darn thing. Came out of nowhere. I just missed it. I know. What do we do? I mean, should we just leave? They'll be fine. Now, keep your eyes peeled. Where there's one, there's usually more. Being in good hands is the only place to be. If it were a guy's world, this would be your nine to five. Having kids wouldn't slow you down a bit. And you'd be so cool, you'd never sweat. But in the real world, guys sweat 40% more than women. Guys need the protection of speed stick antiperspirant. Protection from sweat and odor that never quits. In this world, or the world where every day is Saturday. Speed stick. Protection just for the guys. This week on the Fox Saturday Baseball Game of the Week, the playoff race heats up when the uh, American League Eastern Division rivals clash as the Yankees battle the Orioles, plus other key matchups. Coverage begins a half hour before game time within the zone, followed by all the action. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area. Yeah, we got a lot of action going up in the air above this stadium. Yeah. A lot of traffic up there. I mean, there's airplanes flying by, there's blimps. They just keep just going around the stadium. Too much action above the stadium. A lot of field goals in the stadium. Witherspoon decides to kneel in the end zone. And right now for a McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown at the Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Pat, you mentioned a lot of field goals. Here's a game you can relate to. Three field goals by John Casey. Two in the last three minutes, including that game winner as the Panthers up in the Falcons 9-6. Let's take it back to Pat Summerall and John Metz. The Packers over the Eagles, 9-3, 5.42 left in the third. You know, Pat, since the first quarter, Ty Detmer has only been three out of nine for 18 yards. There hasn't been a lot of offense. Detmer is still the quarterback. Looks <laughs> left and throws to Fryer. Fryer is down at the 25. Pick up at five. Doug Evans made the stop. You now they know that if, if they're going to throw up the middle or run, you, you, you better get Gilbert Brown blocked. You, you, you better get him double teamed. That's a way to keep him on the line of scrimmage, and that lets Ty Detmer, at least if he's going to throw inside, at least step up and throw it. And at least Gilbert will keep his hands oh down. Corners oh on the move. Garner. A lot of short steps and not, not much yardage. Evans again on the stop. And they just can't get any running going. I mean, they've, you know, they've tried the middle, and obviously that doesn't work at all. And then they tried to, you know, come off the corners or outside, and they can't get anything out there because the Packer defense is, you know, too fast, and they're, and they're good tacklers. So the only thing they have left to do is probably to pass or be down. Third and three. Now, this isn't a bad situation. There's only, they're, they're only two out of 11 on third down situations, but this isn't a bad down in distance. Hitler on a semi rollout gets it to Fryer and gets it up. For a Philadelphia first down, chased out of bounds by Tyrone Williams. You see, they have something going now. When they get that third and three or four, then they can do things like this, where Detmer just gets the ball, and he's just going to sprint out. Just opens up, sprints out, and on that third step, just hit the guy, and he has the first down. And if that were third and eight or nine, then they would have had a punt with that much. First and ten, Philadelphia. Detmer back to throw. Green Bay bench, another eagle first down. And I'm sure that John John Gruden, the offensive coordinator of the of the Eagles, decided that this is what we're going to do. We haven't had any success running on first down, so what we're going to do is is open up and throw on first down, and you have a more success. And then and then if you get five or six yards here, they got a first down. But if you get five or six yards, then come back and and run on second down. This guy is an amazing athlete. 14 years he's been playing, and still. One of the best conditioned athletes anywhere in the NFL or anywhere in sports. I think those two go hand in hand. If you're going to play for a long time, you have to be a well conditioned athlete. The draw play to water. Takes from behind, but he gets to midfield. Oh, 
I think, I think that's pretty good there where they where they get the pass and they look loose the things up they hit Fryer out there and then they come back to the running game and now they got the first down and now now I would think that they would go and pass again on first down and try and get the things to loosen up and maybe come back and run on second down that defense has been on the field a long time first and ten not just this time but throughout the game they had to play a lot against the Bears Monday night too Detmer has time. The ball is batted up in the air by Reggie White. Well, they, 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 they picked up the blitz. Leroy Butler comes from the outside. Here's Reggie. Le Leroy Butler's going to come from the outside, and they pick it up. They get, they get Reggie blocked right here, and he just, he just gets in the lane there. He sees the lane that Ty Detmer's looking for. You see that? And he just moved over a little, a little to the right and got his hand up there and knocked that ball down. If you're not going to get the passer, the next best thing to do if you're a pass rusher is get into the passer's lane. Second and 10, Detmer back to throw again. Screen pass. Stacked up by the Packers. Ricky Waters brought down by Santana Dotson. There's an active player. I think, you know, we talk about Gilbert Brown and how he plugs up everything in the middle. And Reggie White is famous as a pass rusher and run stopper. But Santana Dotson has really helped this defense. He's he's not Gilbert Brown. He's very active. I mean, he's a guy that hits gaps and gets penetration and runs things down, plays screens like he just did there. Tackle in a three-man line like he is now. Yes, we're back to throw. Chase leaves the pass to Kevin Turner, who gets a couple of yards. Doug Evans again on the stop, and the Eagles will have to punt it. And that's the difference we've been talking about. Is the third and ten? They don't have the plays to get the first down. When they were third and three, we saw that they did have a pass play for that. Nine-three, Green Bay over Philadelphia. Clock running out in the third quarter. It's about time for Green Bay to start loosening things up. Hutton back to punt. They've tried to loosen things up, but this Eagle defense has been very strong today. This is a good punt by Hutton. And they're down by the Eagles at the six-yard line. That's the third time the Packers have had to start inside their 10. So Green Bay takes over with the score. Green Bay 9, Philadelphia 3, a minute 46 left in the third. Zoom Air gives me back the stuff I lost in the 70s, but I still have to learn about today's players. So I found someone with lots of free time who could help. Hey, thanks for helping, Coach Shola. No problem, Joe. I got lots of free time. <laughs> Jeez, he's pretty fast. <laughs> So's he. So is he. Good thing I wear super fast, low to the ground Zoom Air shoes, huh, Coach? So do they, Joe. Coach Shuler wasn't that helpful. NFL Sunday ticket only on Direct TV. We play up to 13 regular season games every Sunday. So what would you call somebody who only plays one? It's not on cable. It's not on any other mini-dish system. It's only on Direct TV. Satellite TV at its best. Forms Mobile One. New Mobile One Zero W30. Superior protection when you start your car. You guys want to get ready for something on Monday nights? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ally McBeal. The series premiere tomorrow night on Fox. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, 9 3. Green Bay over the Eagles. Their own four yard line. And this is where the Eagles can start thinking big play defense. You know, make something happen down here and you can get a touchdown. Barb gives 11. 
11 gets outside the five to maybe the six. It'll bring up second and long. You see Brett Favre, he's wearing rubber bands. You see he has a rubber band right there on both wrists. His daughter Brittany in training camp this year gave him two rubber bands. He says, wear the rubber bands on your wrist. It'll bring you good luck. So ever since training camp this year, he's been wearing the rubber bands. He wears them not only in the game, he wears them all day everywhere. There's rubber bands on his on both wrists at all times. Because Brittany says it'll bring you good luck. Second and six. Far. Pass is incomplete. Bounced off Freeman. Stayed in the air. Almost long enough for somebody to make a play on it. I tell you, these these safeties right here have been been waiting for those slants in there all day, and it's a tough thing because the safeties are just turning. Zordich on one side, Dawkins on the other side, just waiting for those slants, and you have to hit it in there, and they're tightening that hole up all the time. Irving Fryer, now we're told, has a concussion, and his return is questionable. Three wide receivers, here's far outside. The Levens and Levens gets away from a tackler and gets the Green Bay first down and buys the pack some room. Well, Troy Vincent missed a tackle on that one. They had the perfect play call because they're blitzing right into Favre. You see, they have the blitz coming. Taylor's coming. Thomas coming. He throws it out here. Now, right here, Troy Vincent has to make that tackle, and it wouldn't have been a first down. That's right. Dorsey Levens runs by him, gets the first down. First down, Packers at their own 20. But that was a perfect play call because they caught him in a blitz. They caught him coming from that side, and they screamed to the side of the blitz. Anderson 11 behind Favre. Dorsey 11. Just shy of the 30, about the 29. Bobby Taylor made the stop. Nobody really able to sustain a drive of any length today. That'll be the last of the third quarter. 9-3. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score Green Bay 9, Philadelphia 3, Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. season premiere of Melrose Place tomorrow on Fox. For all today's highlights and scores, watch Sports Sunday tonight on the Fox 10 o'clock news. A commodity is something you trade, not something you drive. The unique Mazda 626. Mazda 626. Sporty engineering. Incredible size. Refinements including leather yeah. and a silky automatic. Oh, for $229 a month. Master 626. I want it. The most class in its class. Mazda 626. I want it all. Lease for $229. Question over here. Our customers are looking for rate reduction. When and how much? We will give the customers lower rates and in fact immediate reductions somewhere in the neighborhood of 10%, ending up with the largest upfront reductions of any utility in the country, the largest average reduction over a 10-year period guaranteed of any utility in the country. And people will see Pico Energy's commitment to its customers to meet their needs and expectations. Low interest, cash back, low lease. You want a new minivan, and we want to sell you one. It's that simple. At Chrysler in Plymouth, we want what you want. And now, during the Chrysler in Plymouth model year clearance, there are big savings on the minivan you want. Get $1,000 cash back on Chrysler Town & Country, and up to $2,330 in total values on select Plymouth Voyagers. Savings on the biggest selection of award-winning minivans. The Chrysler in Plymouth model year clearance, because we want what you want. It's that simple. Our blimp shots today provided by the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes are thanks to Captain Dan Thomas and the crew for the many spectacular shots in today's broadcast. Second and one for Green Bay. Henderson will get the one. That's about all. Yeah, I think it's interesting, Pat, this second week of the season that the, that the scoring is down. And I think the reason for it is is 
you know, preseason, everyone hides all their good stuff. They don't play their players, you know, a lot of the game. And then they really have the whole offseason to get ready for their opener. Then the second week, everyone sees what they're going to do, and the scouting reports are a lot better than they were the first week. A lot of field goals in the NFL today. I think the defense has gained the advantage in the second week of the season. Barb fakes to Evans and fires to Freeman. He backs to the 45-yard line. First down, Green Bay. Dawkins made the stop. And you were right, right, fires to Freeman. I mean, he really did. He, he looks to the left, and there's, here's Freeman who's going to come down, and here's that, that zone. You see the short and then the safety over deep, and he just comes under control, gets by the corner, and gets right in front of the safety. And that's all he has to do, and boom, he zips it. I think that ball knocked him backwards for about four yards. Get it, get it, get it! First and 10, Green Bay, at their own 45. Takes to Henderson, drops it out to Brooks, to midfield. Bobby Taylor up to make the stop. Brooks, what a miraculous recovery he made from a knee injury that I think probably would have finished a career for a lot of people. Well, you know the type of guy that Robert Brooks is and the beliefs that Robert Brooks has that, that he was going to come back. I yeah. mean, that, that there's no one uh, that's going to work harder. I mean, he has that, that work ethic that, you know, you just work everything. I mean, he has that same thing that Irving Fryer has. We talked about earlier, the same thing that, that Jerry Rice was the master of. Thomas moves left to right. Carr gets to Levin. Levin. Yard shy of a first down. Stopped by William Thomas. That was a that was a big play. You know, you look back at big plays that when the when the Eagles had him backed up down there and they got him a third down, they threw that screen pass and Dorsey Levins had Troy Vincent. You know, and it was he got the man on man. If Vincent makes that tackle, the Packers are gonna have to punt. If Levins makes him miss, then the Packers get to keep the ball. And that's what happened. Big Frank Winters is the offensive center, the man who calls all the line blocking assignments for the Packers. Or bag of donuts. Bag of donuts calls Brett Park kid. Levin leans to his right, and I don't think he got the first down. They needed about a yard. They got about a half. I don't even know that they got the half. Here comes the punting unit. Yeah, there's the defensive coordinator right there, the Philadelphia Eagles, Emmett Thomas, who does a great job as a defensive coordinator and was, I remember playing against him for years when I was coaching the Oakland Raiders, and he was a cornerback for the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best that have ever played. And a wonderful coach also. High kick by Hendrick. Vincent. over at the 20. Brett Favre in conversation with Mike Holmgren. Nothing has worked much on the offensive side of the ball. Oh, hi, honey. Am I excited about Thursday? Of course, Thursday's our anniversary. Of course, I planned a trip. Yeah, we're taking the uh, Orient Express to a uh, spot in Thailand. Or, uh... Bird watching. Love you too. Bye. Mm. New Visa Platinum. To go to Thailand with a world of purchase power for the unexpected, including that trip you never thought you'd take. This is such a surprise. Yeah. New Visa Platinum. It's everywhere you want to be. Volkswagen Golf. It fits your life, or your complete lack thereof. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. 
Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. By 7-Eleven, oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. By Sony PlayStation, a bit of advice for gamers everywhere. Never underestimate the power of a PlayStation. And by Ericsson, be ready for anything with a reliable Ericsson mobile phone. On first down, Waters. Gets an eagle first down and carries Eugene Robinson about an extra three or four yards. Yeah, this game has been such a such a defensive struggle. I mean, all you have to do is get a touchdown here, and you can and you can win this thing. And the the Eagles' defense have really held on for them. The Packer defense have held on for them. And one of these teams is going to break loose and get the ball in the end zone, and, and that's probably going to be the team that wins the game. Irving Fryer back into the game. Yes, sir. Here's the water. Water. He hammers straight ahead to the 35. Picked up three. Then when we were talking to Fritz Shermer yesterday from the Green Bay Packers, the defensive coordinator, the number one thing he says you always have to do is stop the run. I mean, even though you got pass rushers and you got nickels and you got blitzes and you got all that thing, none of that stuff will work if you don't stop the running game. So he says the number one thing that we have to do is stop and control Ricky Waters. Total yards heavily in favor of the Packers. And the scoreboard reads 9 to 3 Packers. Flag on the play. Looks like the offensive line moved. Left side of the Mayberry and Panos. Full start. Prior to the snap. Offense number 80. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Irving Fryer. Now that should never happen. The wide receiver should never move. I mean, because the 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 wide receiver can look in at the ball. Although we just had a report a minute ago. I can't believe this that Irving Fryer had a concussion. He's in there. Read another report earlier that Kevin Turner had a concussion. He's in there. He's in there. He's playing with concussions. Second and 11. There's Detmer, and this time he has time. Intended for Jimmy Johnson. Incomplete. He's the blocking, so-called blocking tight end. And that's what happens when you throw a ball to a wide open blocking tight end. I mean, that ball was right in there. He looked it into his hands. He you know, tried to bring his body into it and do everything. He just dropped the ball. That brings up that dreaded yeah. third and long for the Philadelphia Eagles. And big Gilbert Brown and what's this guy tee off now? 92. Three man run. Detmer has time and has a completed pass to Michael Simpson. That's enough for a first down. And they had good pass protection that time. Like you said, the Eagles have, 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 have good protection. They go solid. The Packers went into a three-man line. They, they blitzed. They brought Wayne Simmons. And that gave Timkins time to do this. Now, he knows where the first down has to be. See, here's the post right there. You have to get by there. He catches the ball right at it and swings around to get the first down. Roderick Mullen, the cover man. Here is Detmer to Waters. Waters wearing him down. Gets about eight or nine. See, that's not a that's not a bad thing to do. You know, to go the whole game and then you know, it's it's harder to run in the first quarter, and then it's a little easier in the second quarter. It's a little easier in the third quarter, and the easiest running that you'll ever have will always be the fourth quarter. Brings up that old question is. Why does the defense always get tired and not the offense? I don't know. I mean, that's, you know, why do they always take out defensive linemen and leave the offensive linemen in there all the time? Waters again. This time, not much doing. Hey, Wilkins. I, don't, I still don't think you can run a big old Gilbert Brown, no. though. I mean, I think you can slash off those corners, you know, kind of get off back a little. I think you can run by Gilbert Brown. I think where you're going to have the tough time is, is running at Gilbert Brown. Chris Shermer's got some signals on every down. Uh, yeah, I mean, and he's you know he's changing from four-man line to three-man line, from from nickel to dime to regular to blitzes to no blitzes. Uh, first down. No blitz. Detmer fires. Has caught. A catch by Fryer. 
right now for a McDonald's game break. Let's return to James Brown at the Fox Television Center in Hollywood. Pat, the Giants trying to get something going here. Dave Brown, four for four in this drive, including that eight-yard bullet to Chris Callaway. They've cut into that Jacksonville lead, 23-13, that late in the fourth. Back to Pat Summerall, John Madden. And we're in the middle of the fourth. Seven and a half minutes left to play. Packers leading by six. Nothing but field goal. Waters again. Waters to the 30. The Packer 30. See, and that's, man, that's the place to go, is to go around Gilbert Brown. Watch him here. You can't run in here, boom, right at him. But you can go at this angle and go around him. And that's what the Eagles are doing now. You see, they start in there. They get down on a little. They hold. And they just run right by him. You see, if you get out of his reach, if you stay within either arm's reach, you can't run there. But if you get outside that reach, you have a chance. And they just barely got outside that reach that time. Less than seven minutes. They go again with Waters. Waters is close to another Eagle first down. Can't you feel the tempo being picked up here yeah. by the offensive line of the Eagles and maybe specifically by Ricky Waters? Yes, I can. And yes, I know the Fritz Server's thinking right now, you know, we got to stop Ricky Waters. We got to gang up on him. And the guy that you stop him with when you do that is you get Leroy Butler up in there. And that's what Fritz will do. He'll get his strong safety up at or around the line of scrimmage and give him an eight man front. And then that's the time to put it up. And that's the time you have to be able to throw the ball. See, now this is really a, a, a down that is a, is a great down if you want to take a shot for a play pass. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they get in a short yardage, and they think it's short yardage, and then you faked in there, and you, and you just throw a ball deep. I don't know that the Eagles will be thinking that way now, but if you're going to do a play pass, if you're going to do a fake play, this is a great situation to do it. Remember back in the first half, the Eagles had it inside the five, first and goal, and fumble. fumble. And they're getting close again. Denver tries. Ooh, he didn't have it unless second he got surge. it at the end. Yep, with the second surge, he might have gotten it, but he didn't get it with the first. He tried to get in there behind Joe Panos, and uh, there was nothing there, and then he went over and got behind Ian Beckles. Wherever Gilbert Brown was, there can't be much there. Uh, I don't think you want to be flopping around there in a quarterback sneak. I don't know that Ty Detmer at 6 foot, 190 pound, would be a great quarterback sneak runner they're going to measure and see if Detmer did get it and by just <laughs> the nose of the ball he got it and that was just that little effort at the end because you're going to see him come here and not get it and then come back here you see right there he doesn't have it he's no. trying to Gilbert Brown and then he gets this little move to this side and he just gets that extra push right there at the end Ooh, that was tight. That was close. That's the fifth first down of this drive for the Eagles. So why would you run a quarterback sneak at Gilbert Brown? I don't know. They must have missed him, but I don't know how you could do that either. Here's Detmer on first. The Fryer and Fryer. That's the same play that worked for him earlier on first down. Fryer gets it down to. I think that's, another first down. that's when they started to get things going, when they started throwing on first down because they were having no success running. Then they can come back, and this has been a pretty good rundown for them. Yep. After they throw on first down, they come back and run on second down. Second and two. Water inside the 15, and that should be enough to move the sticks. See the guy that was up there, number 36, Leroy Butler. That's what we talked about. If Fitz Shermer knows that second down run, he's going to have to stop it now. So he gangs up with his eighth guy, and his eighth guy is a strong safety, number 36. Irving Fryer has seven catches for 113 yards. The 13th play of this drive coming up. It's going to be water. Waters picked up two or three. Wayne Simmons to make the stop. I 
Mike Holmgren knows that, you know, that, like we said before the game, and he said before the game, that when you win a Super Bowl and you're the world champion, everyone plays you in every game like it's a championship game. They play their best against the reigning Super Bowl champion. Who leads 9 to 3. Here's Detmer back to throw. Incomplete. He had a man open in the middle. That was Charlie Garner, but the pressure was on. And if he hits Charlie Garner with that, that's a touchdown. Touchdown. Charlie Garner knew it. I don't know if Ty Detmer knows it or not. Flag on the play. Detmer got up limping. That's a signal for illegal man downfield. Yep. Garner's not illegal. Look at Reggie White. You see him? He's trying to find some oxygen out there. They're getting tired. They got a rule now. You can't take your helmet off to celebrate, but you can take your helmet off when the weather's humid and you're trying to get some air. Yeah, air. They still that rule, didn't, rule doesn't apply. They still didn't say what the penalty is, did they? Well, the signal was for, as you said, illegal man downfield. I mean, they didn't say anything what the penalty no, was. No, no. They haven't marked anything off. What they're saying is, should we accept the penalty or turn it down? They're saying turn it down on the sideline. We have an ineligible receiver downfield on the offense, number 61. That penalty is declined. It'll be third down. Third down. Watch who it was. It was 61, Steve Everett, the center. Now, you see the line of scrimmage, and on a pass play, of course, he can't go beyond the line of scrimmage. See what He comes downfield, and he makes a block down there. Now, I don't know if that was supposed to be a screen pass or not, but it he looked, looked like, like a one-man screen. He looked, looked like he was running a one-man screen. Here's Detmer. He gets the ball to Fryer, who gets to the one-yard line. It looked as if he might go in. He was met by a wall at the one. But it's a first down, Philadelphia. And Reggie White just got to that lane late. Irving Fryer ran a crossing pattern. Ty Detmer read him when he got open and hit him. First and goal at the one. Remember, they've been here before and fumbled it. Water will not score. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage even. I still think I'd go over there where, where Reggie White was supposed to be playing. I think I'd work that right side because he's not in there. They haven't had any success right up that middle. Shannon Flavell has taken his place. Yeah, they, they, they can't run at Gilbert Brown. Reggie White, we saw him with his helmet off. I think he's a little tired. That's the area that I would work because he's not in there. I would run over here to this side. Three tight end. Water doesn't get it. At about the one foot line, Waters is pushed back. You know, it's interesting now if the if the Eagles think that they that, that they need a touchdown, then, then they can go for it, run again on third, knowing that they're gonna go for it on fourth down. See that there's a there's a good block right there. The solid tackle too. Right here, Jermaine Mayberry made a heck of a block. Lamont Hollenquist led the defensive surge. Third and goal with the one. Waters again, and he doesn't get in. Waters repelled. Fryer up to make the stop, and here comes the here comes. defensive secretary of defense. Yeah, he's coming in on fourth down. What they're going to do is let this thing go to two minutes. Again, I would think you'd run over here. Again, they don't get Gilbert Brown blocked, so they don't have a cut back there. And they bring their safety up, and he makes the eighth man up. So anytime you're going to keep running, Rick Sherman will always bring that eighth guy up there that is uncountable. Two minutes left. Fourth and short. John Tyler, leader of champion Volkswagen. You've got to love these guys. They're so friendly and playful. No matter what goes into making champions like this, so easy, fellas. You gotta feed them, right? Keep their coats clean and glossy. This breed loves to run. So you gotta give them plenty.
plenty of exercise. You can tell by the gleam in the daytime running lights. These are happy cars. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Don't you just want to take one home? Okay, guys. Going out for lunch. You know the rules. <laughs> Scooter, get off the counter. Ericsson Mobile Phones. That's the power of voice. Pets are so much trouble. Huh, not my little angels. <laughs> Why do I come out here? Because the playing field's level, but the stairs never are. Because if I can't get frost-brewed Coors Light to the fans cold, those guys in the Rockies froze their butts for nothing. So I scale concrete every night. Because somewhere there's a guy eating peanuts or some nachos, and he's thinking of me. Coors Light! Coors Light! The lovely living single ladies, Khadija, Rajin, Sinclair, and Max, are back with all new fun. Clear the table! The season premiere, Thursday at 8, 7 Central. Nobody's sitting down at Veterans Stadium. It's fourth... At the two-yard line, the 18 plays in this drive haven't gotten them a touchdown so far. They've had the ball nine minutes and 18 seconds. This is all the Eagles. And they have more to go now than they did when they had the first down. Yeah, and I think when you get to, to fourth and two, that is really a long yardage situation. I think this has to be a passing down. Four wide receivers for Philadelphia. And Detmer back to throw. Fires into the end zone, touchdown. Freddie Solomon. And a flag down in the end zone, I believe. At the back of the end zone, something was thrown. It might have been out of the stands. Touchdown. Solomon. A touchdown and it wears a penalty pad it was holding on number 41 that's Eugene Robinson against the Packers and of course it's turned down and a touchdown for the Eagles and these fans stayed here this whole game and they knew like I said you know, you know something's gonna happen I mean there's been sparring 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 and then boom there's a big punch Bonio for the big extra point it's 9-9 right now for the extra point. It's 10-9 Philadelphia. A 19-play drive with the Eagles into the end zone. Roll on through. There's so much light to do. Right now, Sears' best-selling light truck tire is on sale. The Bridgestone Dueler APT. Rolling on through. Yeah, yeah. Sears Auto Center. Sale ends September 27th. We're asking baseball fans to try Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. Mmm, this tastes really good. Kind of like wakes the mouth up, you know? It's the flavor that I, that I like about it. It's got a lot of taste to it. Try the championship taste of Wheaties. I gotta pick up some Wheaties, without a doubt. Hey, Wayne, where'd you get the slick tailgate off the table? I made it, Tom. I uh, welded some legs on an old tailgate. Man, we should sell these babies. We could be millionaires. Wayne and Tom do not need to play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. They have no need for big screen TVs or free trips to Super Bowl 32. They invented tailgate coffee table. You did not. So unless you have an idea as good as tailgate coffee table, play the Coca-Cola NFL Red Zone. The German-engineered Volkswagen Golf. It fits your life. Or your complete lack thereof. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Watch Freddie Solomon. He's a receiver here. He comes in motion across. Boom. He's going to catch the ball right here. Eugene Robinson knocks Michael Timkins down, and that opens up the hole. Watch Solomon right here. Watch right there. Boom. You see them there down? That opens up the thing, and Freddie Solomon was wide open. And now the Eagles to kick off the scoring drive. 18, 19. 
team play. Schrader will return to kickoff. And Schrader stumbles all the way to the 46-yard line. Good return. The kicker brought him down. 10 to 9, the Eagles lead the Packers, the world champion. John Tyler, breeder of champion Volkswagen. You've got to love these guys. They're so friendly and playful. You've got to work goes into making champions like this. So oh, easy, fellas. You've got to feed them, right? Keep their coats clean and glossy. This breed loves to run. So you've got to give them plenty of exercise. You can tell by the gleam in the daytime running lights. These are happy cars. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Don't you just want to take one home? Capacity crowd on hand. These two teams are really going to put on a show for these folks today. And there's the kickoff. Stop by 7-Eleven for the new 20-ounce NFL mugs. They look cool and keep your coffee hot. Jerry, there's too much clutter. Let me know when you changed. Change? I'll start with a change. Everybody parks, everybody wins. Whoa. Keep the change. Dear Kristen, I've changed. One stamp, please. I know I got it. One stamp. Even at the post office, you can do more with the American Express card. You can keep all of this. The unforgettable two-hour season premiere of 90210 begins with a bang. Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Pat Summerall with John Madden at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Eagles lead the Packers by a point with a minute 48 left. And the Packers have all of their timeouts remaining. A field goal for them will win it, or certainly put them ahead. Right now, the Eagles lead by a point. Here's Farr back to throw. Going deep for Freeman, incomplete. Freeman protesting to the officials. That's not going to help. Yeah, you know, we say that you know that Brett Farr, you know, is a is a is a rhythm passer, and he's really not gotten into any kind of rhythm and you know part of that is the offense but again I have to say the the Eagle defense has really thrown him out of rhythm I mean they've thrown everything I mean they've had linebacker blitzing they've had corners blitzes they've had safety blitzes they've played zone they've changed up on every defense and they didn't let Brett Favre so far get into any kind of rhythm here comes the blitz Favre lets it go incomplete he was high to Brooks This game is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Philadelphia Eagles and the NFL is prohibited. Third down. Yeah, and how about the guy that caught the touchdown pass for the Philadelphia Eagles, Freddie Solomon? They waived him in training camp. He was home last week, and they called him, brought him in this week. He practiced a couple days and makes the big touchdown. Ray Rhodes said he had a great training camp. Didn't want to let him go. Well, they got Michael Pimpson, and he was the, he's their starter now. With Chris oh, P. Jones. Oh, a sack by William Thomas and knocked backwards, and there's no penalty marker down. Well, from the start of this game, they've been knocking far down. Sometimes with the ball, sometimes without the ball. We're going to see the blitz just coming right here. You see, they engage, they engage, and they engage. And boom, he just comes and takes off on him. And nobody blocked him. Nobody blocks, blocks Brian Williams. He, I mean, he just comes straight up the middle. And he just he just hit Favre, and Favre was looking. And here comes William Thomas. I mean, Thomas was on him before he could do anything about it. Fourth and long. And it's a Packer timeout. 10-9, Eagles lead. Miller Light presents. 
People say I'm the best bass man in Pittsburgh. I know I'm the biggest Steeler fan. It's early in the morning, packing up my van. Off to see the Steelers do it again. Setting up my gear, duper fans right here. Won't sell them, don't trade them, it's the thing I share. The way all the killers, God, I'm a killer now. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to have to take a break now. Today, the book we're reviewing is the official NFL handbook from Miller Lite. Well, then let's start with you. Well, Phil, there's no plot. Character development is conspicuously lacking, and there's nothing remotely poetic about the language. It's 33 pages of facts and numbers. Interesting. Bob, how shall I put this? <laughs> okay, Bob, we've been discussing the official NFL handbook for Miller Lite. 18 million copies in print, available in 12 packs and cases of Miller Lite. Just a glance, it happened. Love came looking for me. Get out of my life! Dockers, khakis. You were pimping her, weren't you? You were pimping her, and now she's dead. I didn't kill her, man. What don't you understand? back to throw it. This time he has protection. Gets the ball to his receiver, Derek Mays, and Mays gets out of bounds at the Eagle 30-yard line. Isn't that something? I mean, he was he was fourth and forever. And he stood back there and threw that ball to Derek Mays. And it started to rain. He brought, he brought the rain brought with the that rain. one. Watch Thomas. He's going to be right here in the outside. He just comes in under control. Missed tackle right there, although he did have the first down. Yep. He had the first down before that missed tackle by Brian Dawkins. This guy is going to be a heck of a player. And the rain coming down. You know, and all the all the Packers need is a field goal, so that's what they're talking about now. They're, if they had to kick the field goal now, it would, it would be approximately a, a, a 47 yard field goal. So every you know five yards that they can take, you know, probably if they could take ten more yards off of this and get ten more yards of field position, they would feel a heck of a lot better. They have about one it. timeout left. And this is this is what you're talking about is you don't want to do anything goofy, you don't want any turnover, you don't want any penalty here. You know, but you would like to gain five to ten yards for your, your field goal, and then maybe you break one and you score a touchdown. Gets to Levens. Levens comes around the corner. Levens picks up five yards and rolls out of bounds and stops the clock. They don't have to use that timeout. So now we're talking about if they were to kick a field goal now, it would be approximately 41 yards. Ryan Longwell is the rookie from California. They let Chris Jackie go. Longwell won the job. Ray Rhodes is probably thinking there, what the heck do we have to do? And we have a fourth and forever. And, but he knew Brett Favre was capable of that. Favre gives again to Levens, and Levens pounds down to about the 20. That's another first down. Ryan Longwell will have the opportunity, it appears, to kick a game-winning field goal for the Packers in the rain and never in his career going back to high school has he had an opportunity or a situation like this. Yeah, how do you how do you kick in high school, college, and then get into the pros and never kick a game-winning? I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder if he hopes the Packers scores a touchdown or, or, or if he just wants to get in and get it over with. To the 15. 11. See, the Eagles aren't tackling well now. They got worn down a little. Their defense on that fourth down play that Brett Favre went back and, 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 and hit Derek Mays with it, that was a that that took a lot of the that air out killer. of this defense. That was a killer. Mike Holmgren. The 
that's what a champion is. I mean, a yeah. champion is never out until you you know, get that 10 count. And they didn't get the 10 count on Brett Favre. They got the nine. Got the nine when William Thomas came on that blitz and threw him for the big loss on third down and looked like it was all over. And then Brett Favre came back and answered that with that pass to Derek Mays. You know, the, you recall, I'm sure, that the Packers drafted to get Brett Conway after Chris Jackie left and went to Pittsburgh. That was not a not a happy parting. Conway got hurt. Longwell won the job. And now let's see. The rookie from California and never in a situation like this. Well, if he makes it, he won't be a rookie. If he misses it, he won't be a rookie anymore. Yeah, well, he probably he might not be anything anymore if That's he misses right. this, but they're making it shorter and shorter for him all the time. What you do is you take the yard line, 15 yard line, and you add 17 yards to it, and that's the length of the field goal. Here comes the blitz. They give the ball to Levins, and Levins gets down inside the 10. The Eagles haven't been able to stop this running game after that after that fourth down completion. They've been playing very, very soft on defense, something they hadn't been doing all day, and they. They're letting Longwell get closer and closer to this kick, and if they don't watch out, Dorsey Levins is going to break That's one right. of these things for a touchdown. He almost has a couple of times. Philadelphia takes this time out. Packers have one left. 21 seconds left. Ray Rhodes was really discouraged last week after the Eagles lost to the Giants. In fact, Bill Walsh called him up and told him that you know to you know keep your chin up, to forget about it, and you know it's a long season and. You got to get continuity and he says you're doing a good job just stay with what you're doing and he did stay with what he's doing and the Eagles have, have given the Packers all they can handle today. Those of you expecting to see beyond belief. You'll see it, but right now, here's what's happening at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, third and one. Levin slipped down, and the clock continues to run with 19 seconds on the clock. Uh, it's a Philadelphia timeout, 15 seconds left on the clock. Again, those of you expecting to see beyond belief, it will be seen following football, except on the West Coast, where it will be seen at its regular time. Right here, it's Philadelphia 10, Green Bay 9. But the Packers have the ball inside the 15-yard line. The kicker, the rookie kicker, Ryan Longwell, has come out on the field standing by himself. This is not a pleasant wait. You've been there many times before, yeah. huh? You know, you know, but didn't they used to huddle up when you kicked? Didn't the yeah, uh, field yeah. goal team get in a huddle? Yeah. Now they just come out and line up right on the line of scrimmage. So but getting in a huddle didn't make any difference. You never heard what anybody said. People ask you how you felt and what you thought. You can't remember. What would you feel right now if you're the kicker? I'm glad I'm here. Longwell. And the field goal is no good. Wide right. They did everything but make it. Ray Rhodes telling his team to get off the field and stop the celebration. 11 seconds left on the clock. But the Eagles have upset the Packers. Watch the kick here. It's it's in between the hash marks. So he just gets out there and, and he just pushes it. He just pushes it right out to the right and he pushed it out there and it stayed out there. Brett Favre was looking at it. He's getting all ready to celebrate and there's nothing to celebrate. From 28 yards away, look at the holder and look at the kicker. You don't have to look at the ball. You know it was no good. Well, we know he's had no experience with that. It's the first time he's ever been in that situation in his life. The Ray Rose, like Bill Walsh told him, stick with it. Stick with it. You're doing the right thing. And they proved today that they did the right thing. They rose to this occasion. 
They hung in and almost let it get, almost let it get away. Ty Detmer, the ex-Packer. John Gruden, the ex-Packer coach. Right there, who was calling that offense, and I think a big thing when he started throwing on first down, I think that's the thing that loosened up that uh, that defense of the Packers and loosened up the offense of the Philadelphia Eagles, and they finally got their touchdown. Did you notice the first guy to hug the kicker who missed? Brett Favre. Uh, because he knows if, if they're going to have success, that they're going to need him down the road. And you just can't let a guy like that get away. You just can't let him get down on something like that and never be able to recover. It was a touchdown pass. Freddie Solomon went in motion. Ty Detmer had good time on that. Yep. That was good pass protection. This isn't a good offensive line, but they did their job today when they had to, this offensive line of the Eagles. Freddie Solomon. It was, it was John Madden was telling you before was not with the Eagles when the season started was in training camp was let go in training camp and brought back this week those of you watching the Philadelphia victory over Green Bay 10 9 stick with us because you'll see the closing minutes of the Jacksonville Giant game when we come back.